And there we go, let's see here. I need to lower this music a little bit. So, here we are, how is everyone doing? Um, I just realized we need to, uh, we need to call Xarvaka. And does the background look good? It does. Because the thing is, when I start streaming, I can't check the green screen if it's like cool or not. But anyways, we have uh, nine people here, according to these numbers, very welcome. I'll need to launch my Stream Deck client so it stops switching the profiles around. Stream Deck is so helpful when it comes to streaming. Anyways. Where do we have... Uh, do, 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 do. You're doing great. Astro Boy. Well, that's very nice. Fairful doing fine before total obliteration in the tournament. Please, Game Boy, carry me 3x. Hello there, okay. Snivy Lord is here. Drop this keyboard. Scrolling up a little bit. Game Boy 2. Very nice. Mission reloaded. Did someone say steampunk? Someone did. Gelson. Hi. Very cool. So, um, I'm thinking. You know, there is, there is a cool thing we need to do here. And that's actually... I totally forgot about this, but I need to add a, vi a video capture here. Because... Um, I want to show you a video clip. It's possible that you have already, you know, seen this, because I posted it a little bit. But if you haven't, I have a nice presentation of uh, all of the combatants. Uh, somewhere I believe God damn it, where did I put it? It's right there We have it Steampunk This is strange Oh, what? That's interesting. Okay, all files. Let's see if uh, it even can play this thing then. Open. <laughs> but um, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to show you. Damn it. Right, I'll close off the music and I'm going to show this little thing here. So I will. It should have a media source, right? Okay, let's go. Team Psych and Loop Scribe. Consisting of Jim Rissms, Churchill Aship, and Xavier Krause, Winston Paddlewheeler. Our next team is the Gear Grinders, consisting of Sample Texts Superior, and Ad Necrias Sobreda. Our next team is Iced Coffee. Consisting of Alec Hakio's Lady Italia and Coffee Zombies, 
McDoolin's Pub and Plunderer. Our next team is the Sultans of Steelmire, consisting of Cortez X, Zebra Clap, and LCG's Blunderburst. Next up we have Team Steamed Crabs, consisting of Favfuls, Baron von Keroff, and Game Boy's Industrial Dawn. Next up we have the Team Fuming Boilers, consisting of Snivelord's Harbringer of Brass, and Fate Ori's HMS Vanguard. And lastly but not leastly we have the Team Indefatigables, consisting of Scoobimation's Fading Light. Light of the World's Balloon Atrocity. We yeah. are. Now, now you're audible. <laughs> okay, let's hide that thing. Cool. So ha there you see it. All the crafts um, popping up like that. Boom, boom, boom. Very nice uh, presentation there. So I hope you enjoyed it. So, Xauber, uh, I didn't have time to ask you this while we were watching the, the clip, but I'm guessing that I'm just sharing my screen to you via Discord as usual, so you can get the live live feed, like double live. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. And this time I actually remembered to uh, use my secondary computer uh, to host the stream. So we'll have maybe a good FPS. Yay! Which is nice. It is. It's very nice. Stop showing me that. All right. So um, I'm thinking that we'll listen to this music for a little while. So let us let us get to the. Let's see here. Let's get to the other. Uh, wait, what? Okay. It's called like Electro Swing feels uh, most steampunk. Here we go. Whoops. All right. That's a good playlist. So now I also need to do do, 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 do. do do everyone have access to the brackets, by the way? Because if you don't, I, I better, you know, share it. Okay. Screen, share your screen from the depth. 30 FPS. Or maybe, mm, yeah. Okay, Xaber, do you have uh, do you have the data feed? Uh, you do. Hi. Awesome. And if you haven't noticed this before, which I'm sure you already have, I'm very not good at doing uh, different things at the same time. So I'm just quickly going to. Do, 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 fetch my own link here so I can share you the brackets. Here we have it. I can fetch it through my own stream. <laughs> cool. Oops, sorry. There we have them. Very nice. 
So <clears throat> here we have it. And there we go with the brackets. Here we have. Please uh, copy and paste this uh, when new people come into uh, the stream. And if you are watching this um, after the fact that the uh, tournament had taken place <clears throat> and you're kind of looking at, um, you know, at the like VOD or after recording, please do not look at <laughs> the challenge.org <laughs> brackets because it will, <laughs> you know, it will tell you the final results instantly. So only use this if you're a live viewer right now, right? Also, cheers everyone. You're still there, Xabra, right? Yeah. That is good. Can you just uh, speak to me a little bit here? No, I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> I just wanted to check your audio levels were decent. <clears throat> Alec Ihakio, welcome to the stream. Coconus, access to brackets confirmed. That's good. Fantastic. <clears throat> so, um, first out will actually be the uh, Sultans of Steelmire against uh, Steam Crams. As you probably can see from the brackets. So we're going to go down to game. And... Okay, we're going to this will be a little bit laggy so I will turn off the GPU ocean and it should probably be fine with the rest of the settings right and there we have custom battle rule set uh, main, let's see our load, steampunk, right. I need to move this window so I actually can, sorry, I need to just form it around. There we go. Nice, now I can see everything. And this window looks good. <coughs> All right. Gelson, when Gmod tutorial or construction? What do you mean? Instant tutorials? We'll see when the next one will be. I, I intend to do one, one per week. So here we have team one. And this was, uh, was what I was testing with, with last time. Sultans of Steelmire, which is uh, Cortez Zebra Clam, as well as LGC's Blunder Burst. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that uh, Cortez's one is the airship and the uh, Blunderburst is the thing on the, you know, ground, the boat, paddle boat. So if I'm wrong, please just correct me in the future moving on, because, you know, um, the airships are spawned at uh, 105, 150 meters uh, of altitude, and the uh, boats are spawned at 5 meters in altitude. And this is to mitigate the problem we have with... Uh, if you spawn them directly kind of ish on the water or under the water, some of the paddle wielders actually flip. <laughs> All right. Good luck to everyone. No, that's crumping and, and <laughs> buster. No friendships anymore. <laughs> this is uh... a... <clears throat> Crump and plunder. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right. So steamed crams. Fafels Baron von Kerov. Um, and the Baron von Kerov is the airship, right? 
An Industrial Dawn by Game Boy Steam Crams. Select. And it will spawn at 5 meters of altitude. Okay. Both of these teams seem to be set up correctly. By the way, before we like... Uh, do, 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 do we want to see the presentation again? I don't know, because now we're more people. Please tell me, chat. Do you want to see the ship presentation once more? Jelson is very ready for the tournament. Oh, that's good. What did you say? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're... Yeah. <laughs> It would be kind of weird, yeah, like yeah. having the same Stop. having the same video, like the presentation, because it's going to YouTube anyways. And... <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know if people will kind of you know skip that over or not. So, what do we say, chat? Should we begin right now, or do you want to see the uh, presentation of the ships one more time? And now we just need to wait for the delay. <laughs> Start the plunder! <laughs> and now... Oh god. I need to disable this spam bot. <laughs> just list, just listing the screen altogether. Is prepared and ready. Beginning. Okay, it looks... Beginning. I, I don't know how to, you know... <clears throat> I think people want to start the tournament right now, so let's do it. No shit, Sherlock! <laughs> okay, let me just fastly click. God damn it. Wait, I need to click. Where? The... What the hell? What? What? The... I... Where is the airship? It gave up already. <laughs> no, it's just... It's, okay, sorry. I thought I kind of triple and double and super checked this thing. But apparently, uh, I failed to... Okay. No, you didn't fail. It looks... It looks correct. Yeah, that looks cool. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, see. <clears throat> I failed. <laughs> I failed with the altitudes. Yeah, you yeah. forgot the altitude. I forgot the oh, altitude. God Dear God, can I please one day just professional? Come on, please. I I don't think I will ever do this professionally. <clears throat> Yeah, Game Boy, so it was the spawn height. Okay, there we have it. So, let us officially begin the battle. Oh, day! <laughs> That's some spreading fire from Cortez Zebra Clan there, just filling the skies with a lot of uh, stuff. And this jagged thing is going above and shooting from above. Ooh, that was a volley right through Cortez. Interesting. That was that was great. That was a great shot. Wow, poor thing. Cortez is already going down. It's uh, looking a little bit bleak for uh, Sultans of Steelmire. And here we see this beautiful construction, the blunderbust, a thing that's kind of holding the other thing. And it's, uh, I don't see it firing very much. Excuse me, I'm just closing my window. Yeah. All right. Hey. Oh, there we have some bomb run and it looks like Game Boy is just charging into it. What but he the for hell? He <laughs> forgot his steam drills. <laughs> What the? They, they just clinched together and it was like, okay, I, I guess Whoa. that wasn't you. That was a nice broadside though. Looks like uh, Game Boy is going for the strong broadside. 
<clears throat> yeah, that ram wasn't... Uh... It was a good ram. You just forgot. Oh, God. Cortez Zebra Clam is disqualified. Oh! I didn't I didn't even notice. The, um, uh, the, the match is already over? Yeah. Blunderbust. Zero okay. percent. Wow. That's okay. amazing. Wow. That was, that was actually, yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, Game Boy, we know you're a min-maxer, and you min-maxed this time too. Very well done. <laughs> Is it 94%? It absolutely killed that thing with that broadside. Very good broadside. And uh, Baron von Kerov is at 100% flying uh, around here in the top with a lot of cannons shooting down. Very well. Damn, <laughs> I, I get uh, I get really the feeling that the sp sp spamming simple cannons, that's maybe the trick for this kind of tournament. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you know, when I did my brief testing, I noticed that the cram for my airship it shoots through anything. <laughs> it's too strong. I should have made, made it faster. <laughs> Damn, okay. Wow, anyways. <sighs> Fafel feels guilty. I don't think you need to feel guilty for uh, building a good ship. I unless you broke any rules that we missed. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Alright. Very good battle there, very interesting. So, um, if you're wondering, uh, in this tournament, any ship might get some point, uh, some uh, disqualification or punishment points. I actually set up in the rules that if you go over the allowed elevation, or if you are um, too far away from the other enemies, you'll actually get penalty points. So, if it ticks up to 30, the ship is out. So we actually have like hard set rules that disqualifies ships if they break the rules too much. Just so you know, that's a, a thing that's and also if it's faster than uh, 50 meters per second, you get penalty point per second. So uh, that's kind of new from earlier tournaments. Uh, we didn't use those hard rules, but in this one we did use the hard rules. All right, then it's uh, it's. Uh, it, it looks like we will be meeting the Sultans of Steelmire in the in the losers bracket because I just assume we will be in the losers bracket very soon. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, because do you know who's facing uh, <laughs> the steamed crams next time uh, they appear? Huh? Do you know? No. Look at the brackets, mate. <laughs> uh, just say it. God damn it. Oh. Okay. Whoops. I just realized that I quickly need to log into my own brackets. <clears throat> For oh, real? Come on. Nah, fuck this. I'm just using the other browser. <laughs> okay. I. Uh... Now we see. Nice. Now I'm logged in and ready. Very nice. Good. So, now I can set the, set the stat. Report scores. And it's lagging. Yeah. Okay, now. Zero to Sultans of Steelmire and one to the steamed crams. Submit scores. Right, now it's updated. Round two will be gear grinders uh, versus indefatigables. And it's very cool uh, indefatigables uh, was able to uh, join us uh, since the the paddle wheeler of uh, indefatigables was the one that heavily <laughs> broke our rules when we reviewed them. Yeah, <laughs> it I was. Them. It was like quite insane. Maybe you wanna watch me set up this thing instead and see how extremely 
inefficient I am with uh, setting stuff up. I'm a slow clicker. All right. Gear grinders, add Nikrias Sobreda. And sample text superior. And the superior, I believe, is D. Airship. And add Nikrias is D. Pal Wheeler. And this I'm quite sure at. So let us pray, everyone. Just pray for, or maybe you will pray against uh, <coughs> Ad Nikrias. Uh, because, you know. He has kind of a little record of uh, his ship kind of flipping from the sun time to time. So that, that's why we spawned the 5 meters up to reduce the chance. But that doesn't mean it's like 100% sure. <clears throat> Alright. Indefatigables, light of the world, balloon atrocity. Oh, your favorite ship, Xaver. Oh, uh, yeah. Goddamn. At least this time, it won't drop your FPS to, uh, like, 1 and kick you out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope that uh, <clears throat> it doesn't crash the stream. <laughs> oh, yeah. If Light of the World's <laughs> Balloon Atrocity crashes my computer, I'll be very sad. But do you know what? The stream will not end. It will just be black. Because it's GPU. the other computer. GPU meltdown incoming. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see about that. Okay, it seems to be set up correctly. So now we have uh, gear grinders versus indefatigables. <clears throat> Let us watch closely as this atrocity deploys its evilness. There we go. Okay. Millions of balloons, dude. <laughs> oh man, what's going on here? I think we have a spammer. Right, look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> and we have some really cool moving gears there. Alright. Oh, nice broadside there. Whoa! That's some... Uh... It seems that people really went for the revolting blast guns. Yeah, I mean, they are really good, especially in a type of tournament like this. Yeah. Because you are so limited with metal. Yeah, you are. And Ad Necrius really gone for that uh, steam reel there. But, oh man, he stopped. That broadside was uh, devastating. The gears are still spinning, but there is nobody home in that turret. Seems that uh, the uh, fading light by Scoobimation is ignoring what is Adnecris is backing into Scoobimation uh, hey. what is gear grinders doing it just destroyed his own paddle wheel on uh, well, fading light ship and there goes the proportion yeah the paddles, like the paddles are gone he's no! dead in the water what, what a bold move <laughs> the atrocity is shedding balloons like uh, some evil snake <laughs> Just belly flops in the water there. <laughs> like, uh, uh, what is it called? SpaceX rocket. But it didn't explode, so that's a good thing. Anyways. Oh, was that the mortar? Oh, yeah. yeah. I think so, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. Adnecrias uh, for the gear grinders went for mortars. <laughs> that's cool. That's high, some high speed mortars. Seems that uh, sample text's superior for the gear grinders is doing quite well with 96 percentages. Uh, keeping that broadside going on there. Very nice. Um, and it was very good. Ooh, but now he received two penalty points for keeping too far distance from uh, the enemies. Right. Well, ooh, that's some evil uh, things yeah, going on there from the It absolutely doesn't look good for Adnacrius. Absolutely doesn't look good. It doesn't. That's some powerful 
Yeah, you can see the oh now we follow that shot <clears throat> and it it gets wow so Breda is down to 60 percent okay the steam reel has chance to do some real damage now oh yes he got lucky he got a good just if he just moves forward a little bit He'll do some real damage, except he destroyed his own paddle wheels. Poor Admiral. I was about to say, he can't move forward. <laughs> no, but he has repair bots, but he, he doesn't have any... He has a lot of materials, but oh, he's down to 40%. That's some <laughs> hardcore stuff Dad. going on there. God Dad. damn it. Dad is a freaking Ooh. nasty, freaking nasty... Blast gun volley. <laughs> that was a absolutely nasty blast gun volley. Nothing could have destroyed that. That would have destroyed a metal craft too. That's some hardcore stuff going on there. Oh, and do you see? <laughs> Looks like uh, gear grinders shot off the indefatigable's balloons just like that with that uh, volley here. Sample text says uh, the gear grinders is down at 94 percentages, by the, but the uh, fading lights airship is down to... No, uh, the airship is also 98, because fading light is the paddle wheeler, is uh, 76 percentages. And it's just sitting here too, it seems like it uh, wrecked its uh, maneuvering capabilities too. Yeah, it seems like it. So the battle is now taking place between oh scovimation's fading light is uh, getting uh, penalty points because the damage is not taking place over there anymore and he can't get here it's 15 16 if he can't repair himself and get over here very soon he's uh, disqualified 23 ah looks like uh, fading lights lack of propulsion will disqualify him like that bam gone dead so, the Irish ships are left. Oh shit. <laughs> I just remembered something. What was that? I have no idea what combat, uh, uh, c combat range I set it on my AI. Don't worry, uh -oh. Xarber. I don't think <laughs> you'll survive that long. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> So Xauber's uh, boat, as you probably seen from the intro video, <clears throat> it looks amazing. Oh wow, what was that? Who got damaged though? Oh, you know what is what it was? Uh huh. That side, yeah. The the ballooned atrocity decided to teabag <laughs> <laughs> the superior. <laughs> yeah, that's an uh, un nice <laughs> team bagging going on there. <clears throat> Well, how do you feel at looking at this thing at, uh, I think it's 60 FPS? That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, screw it. <laughs> yeah, these balloons. God damn it. No, it belly flops. Do doing a... Uh, uh, landing like that. <clears throat> KC, <clears throat> seems that uh, both the gear grinders and the indefatigables kind of missed their... Uh, their... Uh, Naval ship friends, so they're both trying to be naval now. Oh, God, that... another, another nasty shot? That's very nasty. It looks like he's mounting him almost. Not really. Okay. <laughs> Especially since this poor thing has kind of eyes and stuff. Oh, and now we got real good broadside here though. <clears throat> yeah, that's a solid broadside, but they're still at very sim uh, very similar values. So even though it looks damaged, it's not so damaged because it's just the balloons shedding away. Yeah. It, it literally acts like a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Sample text says karma's a bitch. <laughs> wow. Man, but that's a slow-ass match. 
it is now not uh, much is uh, happening to be honest let's see here what happened there it wanted to play okay good so what's happening here now the music kind of died i wonder are we at the end of this playlist or what happened let's continue with the trusty old yeah, there we go. Have some nice background music going on there. Right, so there we are. Sample text superior is 89%, uh, light of rural is uh, 87 percentages. So what's gonna happen now, who knows? All right. So I'm guessing that it looks like, uh, I'm actually guessing that the ballooned atrocity will win. Yeah, because of this, you know. Yeah, wow. So yeah, 80%. And now it goes on top of it. Yeah, the next volley is going 70. Oh yes, wow, 75%. It's looking real sad now. Oh, and another one. <laughs> That's a lot of volleys. <laughs> Oh, does he get cut off? He gets cut off. 55.6 percentages. He is Holy he's shit. basically dead. Poor thing. He got his ass cut off. Just like that. Like shop shop. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. We can just wait for uh, light of the world feeling like, uh, you know, lining up and uh, placing down a little bit of a, you know, Stray shots going on there, and it will be enough. He only has 1,500 materials too, so he can't really repair anything that will do any difference. Oh, and oh, it missed. And <laughs> no, it was a miss. <laughs> it kind of hit a few blocks. Nine minutes and uh, 38 seconds. Yeah, it doesn't even have to be decided by time. Uh, this thing is dead indeed. <clears throat> the superior might look like a Kirov, but uh, the balloon atrocity makes weapon-wise a semi Kirov says Fabful. And it was a good match indeed. All right, so congratulations the Indefatigables. Good job that you were... Uh, actually able to uh, participate in this like tournament because you know you had to correct some stuff to not be disqualified <clears throat> anyways invictus says is the cram on the bottom of the trojity even still function okay that's uh, outdated information who knows okay so we're gonna we are going to uh, report this course in the fatigables one gear grinders zero Congratulations, and I'll share you this once more in case you don't have it. This is the uh, challenge.org thing. And if you're watching this not live, don't look at it. Do not click on the link. You will be spoiled. All right, let us set up the next battle. <clears throat> yeah. And the next battle will be iced coffee against fuming boilers. So, oh. iced coffee versus fuming boilers. Team one, iced coffee. I see Alec Hakio, Lady Italia. That is the airship, I believe. And Coffee Zombies, McDoodlin's Pub and Plunderer, which is uh, the thought of this thing is apparently a pub going to a pub going to war, <clears throat> not the cafe. But we thought it was a cafe. <laughs> All right. So fuming boilers, fate or is HMS Vanguard. This is the boat, I believe, and. Uh, Harbinger of Brass is the airship, I think. There we go. 
Streamerism hasn't messed anything up. Amazing. How is that possible? <laughs> Nobody knows. It might just be a lie. We will. We will never know. We will never. <clears throat> All right. Start the battle. And that's just residue. Okay, the battle is over here. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Fabful says, good luck to both of the teams, of course, because you're not participating. And uh, Aleki Haku, which is participating in this one, no matter what, good luck, and let's get into this. Indeed, we shall. <clears throat> Invictus, I see disqualification due to distance in Lady Italia's future. Oh. Uh-oh. Yes, that might be possible. What are you doing? Wow, that's... A they're basically frontsiding each other pretty well there. Pub and plunderer. <laughs> this is a hell of an artillery bar in the, in this case. This is a bar. And since this is a bar, we'll have a special shears for the pub and, plum, pub and plunderer shears. Well, it's basically artillering this... Um, <laughs> uh, Harbringer of Brass. So this is Snivelord's Harbringer of Brass. And inside this balloon you find a atrocious amount, amount of uh, basically shards of wood. I think it's some kind of armor. Don't know if it works though, but it looks pretty stable. No disqualification points yet, but the Lady Italia is... Uh, it's looking a bit sad, to be honest. It's it's looking very splendid. It isn't, even has the name and everything. But it also looks very sad, poor thing. Oh, here we have a little detection deck with some cannon. And a little a little guy going on there. Very nice. That ain't good! <laughs> it's not. How oh, the battle kind of split it up. like. It did. Okay, so we have an even battle, basically, like... Ship Paddle versus Wheeler ship. against Paddle Wheeler. <laughs> yes, we That's do. Here we have Fate Oris HMS Vanguard. Uh, broadsiding uh, Coffee Zombies McDoodlin's Pub and Plunderer. That's our name. Except the Pub and Plunderer is like see me carrying. And oh, poor thing. That's a lot of missing box here. It has decided to not uh, terrorize the airship so much and uh, has decided to go against this little thing. But it seems that the Pub and Plunderer can't turn as fast as the Vanguard from the Fuming Boilers can uh, actually go sideways. Oh, maybe it can. <laughs> what is yeah. this? That's, oh, this is a broadside uh, thing. You see? It has broadside things on it. That's a fun thing. Oh, we all we already have like a 20 percentage difference. Yeah, it's looking bad for the fuming, no, for the iced coffee team. It's looking better for fuming boilers. This is uh, iced coffee's Lady Italia. And uh, yeah. But there you can see mm -hmm. what I what I mean. Like the simple cannons, the spamming, is probably the way for this tournament. It because seems to Krems be. Because aren't doing that yeah. much, <clears throat> to be honest. No, no, the, the crumbs are just doing too much damage. They're just shooting through the enemy a lot of the times. You can see that was not through the enemy, but yeah. <clears throat> Aleki Hakyu didn't count on uh, this indeed. And Aleki Hakyu is the, the owner of the poor Lady Italia down at 68%, getting bombarded by Snivelord's Harbinger of Brass from Team Fuming Boilers. And this is the cute little uh, turret that we got posted in the Discord long before the battle. 
<clears throat> now, I don't quite remember. It was... I was supposed to look at some detail that we missed during the review of the ships. But I don't remember what it was. Was it maybe sample texts? Airship that we have some crew on there. Or did, did it was something else? I, I, don't, I don't remember. Well, uh, I, th I definitely think that uh, this team that stand stood here and had panic a little while before, <clears throat> they had good reason to be panicking. We need to see what's happening over at McDoodlin's Pub and Plunderer versus uh, the Vanguard. The pub and plunderer is down at 60% too. It's looking very sad. <clears throat> and it has some very fast shooting cramps going on there. But it's just 59%. Wow, this is an uneven battle. This broadside has some true power to it. That I have to say. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Let us follow this f swarm. Poor thing. 55.3%. <clears throat> and it's down. And it's super very dead. 49%. It will not recover. Goodbye, Coffee Sovins, McDoodlin's Pub and Plunderer. It was, ninth, uh, it, was, it was nice to sit in the cafe on the side here. It's gone now. <clears throat> the Lady Italia is also gone. Oh, the Lady Italia died as well. Yep. Yikes! That yeah. was that was not a fair <clears throat> match in that case, though. <laughs> I'm suppose it was fair, but damn. Firepower it's... was a huge difference, though. Yeah, the uh, fuming boilers had very much more superior crafts, and it seemed that this hidden shard structure inside of here was really helpful. <clears throat> And do you, do you know what the trick is behind this? No. You see these blocks? They are very light and very small and very wood. So they cost like, I think they cost like one material something, very little. And even though you can see through them, they are actually, uh, you know, they shut off this compartment and they have a helium thing here. So each of this thing is an isolated individual lift tank. So it's very hard to sink this thing, even though it's very, uh, like, cheap compartmentalization. So Snivelord uh, did really think some there for the Harbinger of gra Brass. Still at 99%, doing very well indeed. Very nice. Oh man, we're gonna end up in the loser bracket, 100%. <laughs> of course we are, we are always ending up in the loser bracket. <laughs> I don't know, is there anything we missed to see? I don't think, it's a, it's a thick wood slab with some nice decorations and it's worked very well, very efficient. Anyways, congratulations uh, uh, Fuming Boilers with uh, Fate Ori and Snivel Lord. And uh, better luck next time, iced coffee with Aleki Haki and Coffee Zombie. <clears throat> now, you can go to the brackets because we shall report the scores. Iced coffee was zero. <laughs> Fuming boilers one. That's true. <clears throat> and that actually brings us to our first loser brackets battle. <clears throat> Somehow. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's see what happened in the chat while we were excited. <clears throat> A lot. Invictus, mind looking under Pub and Planner to find out it's Tokyo drifts side. <laughs> find out how it's Tokyo drifting side to side. <clears throat> oh. Well, we didn't have time to do that right now. 
but uh... you can probably ask the cre creator of the build in Discord. Maybe That's he's true. into the build. <clears throat> probably so. You can ask him in the Discord, and uh, yeah. So something happened. God, the text is so small. I think someone followed or subscribed. Thanks for that, anyways. <laughs> I can't read the text because the window is so small. I need more screens. Actually, I don't. I don't have space for that. It's just because I have the... Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah. So, next up. Let me show you setting this up. Team one, gear grinders. Or what you say? Huh? Gear grinders. Add the sobrera spawn at five meters altitude, and it didn't flip, so that's good. Gear grinders sample texts superior. One fifty against the next. Oh, iced coffee will be uh, popping in here again, so we can definitely check the uh, how it moves sideways right away, actually. <clears throat> and iced coffee, copy zombies, McDougal's pub, and plunderer. So. Does this look acceptable? I think it does. Very nice. <clears throat> All right. So let's just spawn in the crafts like that. Very nice. <clears throat> uh, Lord is was meant to make the balloon lighter and making the air gaps, uh, but it acts as a accidental M aim point spoofing. Oh, cool. Oh, if it selects a random block, it might select the uh, balloons. Ah, that's smart. Mm. Oh, that worked because when I made the first hero, I figured the truss. Why doesn't it scroll down? Um, unfortunately, I'm not in the Discord. I can only assume it has pal wheels mounted sideways as well. I think it has. That was allowed. Oh, Anyways. not in the Discord. <laughs> No. That, smel that smells like punishment points. Yeah, here we can see we have sideways moving uh, paddle wheelers here, so it can strafe, right? It has a lot of paddle wheelers behind it. Okay, Ad Necreas, you won our first tournament. Look at this uh, jar turrets with like six canoes on them. They look so cute. Okay. Some mimics on it. <laughs> of course. We we want to see this uh we want to see this melee attack. <laughs> oh, and we are spamming some revolting blast shots going on there for sure. But it seems that uh, McDoodlin's pop and Pandora is uh, pretty quick, so iced coffee might team iced coffee might get away. No, Adnecris for the uh, gear grinders is a little bit faster. No! 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 <laughs> you better Is run. It? Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Coffee zombie, you better run. <laughs> it's like, no touchy! No touchy zone! No touchy zone! <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh my God. that's harassment. Yeah, get away from me, creep. <laughs> he says. <clears throat> okay. So instead we're doing some... Uh, Blast gunning and broadsiding going on there, okay. So what's happening with the airships here? I don't know, was it... Was it the crew on this ship I should see? I don't see any crew on this ship. I don't know, man. I don't know. I Maybe remember. someone will tell me. <clears throat> He's not fast enough, you know. Oh, wait, what's happening here, though? Add Necrias Sobreda. Did you mess up your paddle wheel again? Did you back into the enemy? 
What have you done? Oh no. What have you done? What have you done to yourself? God damn it. Anyways. <clears throat> Looks like uh, the pub and plunderer has much better luck this time. Staying on his distance saying, stay off me creep, I will bombard you with artillery instead. Do you... Do we also have uh, mortars here? Or... No, where where is the shots coming from? He's not bombarding. No, there they are. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. It's oh. Now I fail to lock on with the camera. Ah, uh, there we have a little mortar barge. See there, very cute. Very nice. Almost invisible. It's just so much going on on the uh, iced coffees. Uh, Pal wheeler, so you don't really see. Anyways, Adnekrias Sobreda is uh, feeling a little bit sad again. Ay ay! It... What the heck is happening? Oh, that's a that's a nice little, you know, stamp or little sign. But well, poor thing. Looks like the airship battle is uh, going slower. Ooh, the superior is down on the ground there. But right now, Lady Italia is getting has eleven penalty points. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, nice logo. All right, fifty-one percent. Adnecrius is uh, indeed. Yeah. Down. Out. So it's up to sample text superior, but since the Lady Italia and the Pub and Plunder is like both at 95% or at 195%, it's uh, oh, but the Lady Italia is gaining penalty points up to 15 now. <clears throat> superior. Poor thing. A lot of holes in here. Huh. Well, we shall see indeed. 70%. It's, I don't think sample text can uh, win this thing for the gear grinders. It looks like the superior isn't very superior this time. Ah, trying some pot shots with the, uh, with the blast guns. A few of the cramps are still up and going. <laughs> Cute skin for the <laughs> blast guns. <clears throat> Fell says, go superior Kiro, you can do it. I don't think so. 71%. Uh, pub and plunder is uh, drinking and chilling. Do you see that? That's actually some proper uh, beer taps going on there. Yeah. Oh, very nice. <laughs> you can, you can. I definitely feel that uh, iced coffee's paddle wheeler kind of deserves to win this thing because the concept is so funny. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much <clears throat> over. It's pretty much over. <laughs> Aliki Hakio's Lady Italia has now accumulated 25 penalty points. <laughs> Very close to being despawned. Well, let's see if I can get inside of here. Seems that the, that the meeting board don't have to panic so much this time, even though one is face palming and the other one is, you know, crying and stuff like that, but. <laughs> They have done quite well, but I, I guess they panic because now they have 29. Ah, uh, will they get 30 per point? They are one point away from being disqualified. But it probably doesn't matter very much because the sample text superior is down to 58%. Poor thing. It's just sitting here and spinning its gears. Grinding its gears and teeth. Probably grind grinding their teeth too and saying like, what the hell? Please have mercy. 
Game Boys is uh, that the pub and plunder they have the alcohol to endure any battle. Yeah, I think so. 55%. Sample text, it's looking very bleak. Down indeed. Oh, the Lady Italia actually disqualified itself. Sorry, my lady. You're out, keeping too much of a distance. But it doesn't matter, matter very much because Sample Text Superior is just dying, which means that Gear Grinder is indeed out. Very good game, very fantastic builds. They looked very cool. Um, we, li we liked them very much, but uh, for this tournament, the Gear Grinders could not stand up against uh, our other winning losers. The iced coffee with Alec Yohakios, Lady Italia disqualified, and uh, <laughs> McDoodle's Pub and Plunderer honest but drunk. So there we go. We shall now report the scores. <clears throat> Very nice. Report scores. Gear grinders zero. Iced Coffee 1. Submit. You should have link to the uh, challenge.com page. If you don't have it, ask someone in the chat, they'll post it for you. Because I'm lazy. Now, Xarber Crown, <clears throat> comes the very sad day when oh. <laughs> we are making our first appearance in this tournament. Dude. I, I already regret so much that I have that I done just cramps basically. I, I regret <laughs> it already. I think you also should regret that you went for all the mimics and n none of the metal. Yeah, it doesn't really matter anyways. Maybe, maybe not. And but yeah, let us see. We are facing the stained cramps. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <clears throat> and our team has the fantastic name of uh, Psych and Lubscribed. S A L. Psych and Lubscribe. You get it? Do you think? Huh? Do you think they get it, Xaver? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you can explain what they need to do. No? Okay. Never mind. I'm not supporting our laziness because we didn't came up with your own name. I don't support that. <laughs> yes. So, let's see here. And we have Steam Cram's Game Boy's Industrial Dawn Min Maxer. <laughs> and the possible oh, winner. What the hell happened with the spawn altitude? Okay. I need to click enter. That's the one. 155. Okay. Super. <clears throat> we are getting okay. shredded, dude. I think so too. So. Us against Great Britain. Says Fafel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, uh, now we need to look at our beautiful build, because it was a long time. So, Xauber named this beautiful little craft uh, the uh, Churchill. No, the Winston, I mean. So, I had to name this beautiful thing the Churchill. Very smart. It's about as much fantasy as uh, <laughs> our team name, Psych and yeah. Scribe. Do it now. Alright, let's start the battle. Wrong button. There we go. <laughs> We've seen the other craft, so I'm I'm going to be selfish and see if I what I'm doing. I hope I'm not going too high. Oh, I already have six Two. penalty points. I went too high. Yeah. Eight. Are you? <laughs> oh no! Will I disqualify myself? Oh no! I didn't expect that. Okay, what's happening with uh, this thing? Psych and Lubscribe! Winston's lost his main turret! <laughs> no! Oh, hell 
no, man. That early. But it looks like a car because we have, uh, you know. It's look li it looks like a combination of a steampunk vacuum cleaner and a robot vacuum cleaner in the car. <laughs> oh, it, they are down to 84% already, come on. Okay, <clears throat> Game Boy's Industrial Dawn is doing a little bit too well. I have 9 pen penalty points and I'm up against this thing, but it doesn't have... Oh, it does, it does have a pretty powerful broadside though, that's not good. At least I can spray some uh, crap over you, that's nice. And we have this beautiful little turret here. And there goes the panatool. Oh me! Oh my god. Yeah, I probably... Oh, fucked. 13. Oh no, you lost all your mobility. No, oh, not, not really. I, I just fucked up the combat uh, the combat range. God damn it, did you not read the rules? <laughs> not entirely, no. God damn it, Xabrius. You have to start reading the rules. <laughs> 20 points disqualification. Oh, you're so close to being out. But now you're moving towards the enemy, finally. <clears throat> Please don't leave me alone in this. Oh, you are going to be alone, 100%. Oh, no. The, the Psyken described as a uh, Churchill airship does at least have a proper battle, uh, proper combat capabilities from all sides, so... Yeah. We'll see. Oh, no. Don't go too high. And now, are we moving in for something good here? Come on, oh, maybe. I'm glad you're not out yet, though. Uh, God damn, I still regret, man. Why I didn't place more simple cannons. Fuck's sake. Poor thing, we can almost see through it. Lots of cramps, come on, get some good hits now on uh, Industrial Dawn. Because uh, steamed crams are min-maxing good. Ooh, Fawful's Baron, Gon bon Ker Baron von Keroff from uh, steamed cram is nose dipping. What are you doing though? It looks like we damaged its uh, pitch control. So it's a little bit sad. Which is very good for me. Oh, okay. The Churchill airship is still at 100%. So if I manage oh, to oh. not... Oh, yeah. Sorry for tanking the battle. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You're just standing here and <laughs> doing You're nothing. What? You're not even shooting. Xaber, where is your extra AI? <laughs> Did you forgot to add an extra AI? No, I do have two, but but they probably got both disabled. But then you would have been AI killed. I think none of them are controlling your weapons, right? It's only one AI that controls all the weapons, right? Or is it? One AI controls the <clears throat> weapons and one the AI, uh, the anti cram Oh, okay. I see. Well... 55.1, yeah, very sad. You get broadsided, almost split yeah, in half. Bro, bro, come on, I'm fucking tanking and the, the entire time you're doing nothing. <laughs> you're not tanking, you don't even have metal. I'm <laughs> not tanking? I already lost 50%, you, <laughs> you creep. <laughs> <laughs> you're just being a dead target. <laughs> God damn it. It lags very much now. What's happening? Why is it lagging so much? What is causing this? Oh! Oh man! Oh god! Oh no! Fab Falls, Ban Va Baron Von Kerov and Game Boy's Industrial Dawn just had a collision. That was the FPS damage. They crashed into each other. God. <laughs> okay. And I'm gone. Thanks, Winston, for uh, contributing to the Psych and Lubscribes team. You're now dead. But you didn't get disqualified, that's one good thing. 
like uh, certain ladies from Italia. Oh! Whoa. Thanks for the follow or subscription. I don't know which it is. I don't see. Anyways, so uh, now I have two 80 percenters against me and they are of course heavily broadsiding me. Poor me. <clears throat> I have a good front cram which isn't getting to shoot very often, is it? Come on, shoot that damn thing. Oh, come on. It didn't shoot. God damn it. Krams was absolutely the wrong way to go. I think so too. I'm absolutely <clears throat> honest. Mm. Okay. <laughs> PvP. Okay. Fafel says, is the secret... Um, is this a secret team fight so our min maxing gets <laughs> punished? Uh, Game Boy says, I don't have so many gun lefts, Fafel, but the battle is still remaining interesting. You have the high ground. Oh, I, I have the high ground now, and I know enough Star Wars to know where that can lead. I see. Well, I'm still at 95%, so it seems that uh, the Churchill airship uh, has been able to gaining, you know, been able to keeping its altitude despite some minor damage, which is good. I have also compartmentalized my lifting capabilities, but not to the extent uh, of like, uh, <clears throat> um, what is the ship called? I don't remember. Um, Snivy Lords build. Harbinger or Brass, maybe? Anyways, um, 90%, 91%. Oh, we have some lag going on here. And that is because these beautiful teammates decide to crash into each other again. And that's not very smart. But um, Fafful, feel free to... Bonk your heads with <laughs> Game Boy. You're on the same team, but... Uh, <clears throat> can It would be stupid if we actually won this uh. battle, Xarver, just because... Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry my, that my crew decided to board uh, the Baron and... Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. you, you said what? <laughs> My crew bought it, the Baron, oh, I guess. I think so too. It looks really like it because the Baron is not really... It, it seems to not know what it's doing. I, I really don't enjoy these FPS, but uh, I mean, there is nothing I can do against that. Um, I guess I guess we kind of slideshow a little bit until they untangle themselves, if they do. Oh god damn it. The FPS, come on! I did already turn off the ocean. Oh no. Wrong, wrong click. Yeah, collision and FTD is yikes. Ass. Yeah. It's like when you do thump damage too, it's like bonk, and it's like one, two, three, four, damage applied! <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. What is going on here? Oh, 86. I'm taking some damage. Oh, finally, the lag released. Thank you, very nice. How are we doing here? Still got functional cannons. Ooh, that's a big hole inside of there. My lifting capabilities are seriously sad. Yeah, we're sinking drastically. Yeah, not good. Because I do... I haven't seen me shooting my... Uh, blast guns very much, though. I would have expected them to shoot a little bit more often. 
I mean, might be possible that you lose now as well because yeah. the Baron can shoot its broadside now too. Yeah, the Baron's broadside. Oh, at least I got a few blast guns going, but that doesn't help me because this broadside is still going strong. And this, yeah, it has repaired its side too, so it's basically undamaged. Only lack some cannons. Well, at least, at least uh, <coughs> we're, we're dancing our worries away. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Doesn't solve them though, but... Uh... Oh no! It doesn't have an AI or what happened to this thing? Come on. I think one of my AIs is damaged. That's why. 68%. Yeah, I think that um, Churchill follows the Winston in its grave very soon, which kind of makes a lot of sense. Yeah, we both made the, made the mistake of thinking going cram is a good idea. Yeah, we did. It's just rotating a little bit sadly here. Hmm, 63%. Come on, shoot something. You can do it. Probably not. I believe in you. Not really. Oh, man. <laughs> well, very nice mimics here. <laughs> <laughs> My main AI compartment looks kind of healthy though. That's good. No, it doesn't. It's breached. 58%. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. This the, battle this is still over. <laughs> this battle is indeed over. Yeah. Sad thing. God, we were so we were way too focused. Of, of, uh, we focused way too much on cramps, man. We did indeed. Oh well. 53% and it's dying. It looks like a good job for steamed team, steamed cramps. Amazing. That's a lot of connectors. That's a funny way to build a turret, though. <laughs> uh, works. Yep, there we go. Good game. Very sad. Anyways, let's report this course. Good job indeed. Um, one more win for the Steam Cramps. And uh, the Saiken Lubskribe has to uh, compete more later in the loser's bracket so as usual <laughs> <laughs> indeed next we are actually going to pitch two winners against each other as you probably see by the uh, actually i can be nice and post you this again there we go don't look at this if you're watching this after the live stream thank you um, now we're going to pitch two winners against each other, uh, the Indefatigables versus the Fuming Boilers. So you will probably want me watch set this up so you can't see I'm doing anything sunny or funny. Remove that. Indefatigables. Oh no. The ballooned atrocity. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> 150. Fantastic. And squamations fading light. That is the wrong altitude. Five. Thank you. <clears throat> Again, the fuming boilers. Fate Oris. HMS Vanguard. Five. <clears throat> and uh, Schnivillage Harbringer of Brass. Then I was correct about the name. Very nice. Very good. We can now start the battle. But first, I will put on some background music. Ugh. I just saw uh, something called the uh, the sound of music. Let's not listen to music. 
this? What is what is this though? Nah, boring. I thought it was something cool. It would be nice if we had some uh, epic classical music, but Electro Swing is not too bad either. All right. We can now continue. So let us first spawn the ships so we actually see where they are. <laughs> Very nice. So here we have uh, Snivel Lords harboring your brass for the team fuming boilers going in and charging, followed tightly by the even faster uh, HMS Vanguard by Fate Ori, same team. And now I accidentally followed the shot here. Here we have the Ballooned Atrocity for the Indefatigables, and that's an evil build with uh, too many balloons and uh, possible lag. Ooh, and looks like the Indefatigables Scoobimation's Fading Light has already taken some damage and will take more because that was a good broadside indeed. Wow. I think that, do you see, that's a lot of uh, spinning uh, things. Yep. It looks, it looks like they're spinning the wrong way. Weird. It has to be a visual effect because they're spinning so fast, probably. This thing is fast. Good job on the speed there. Fate already just gonna let everyone know Snivy <clears throat> did a lot on the Vanguard and well mostly weapons and a bit of engine efficiency stuff. While this is team build, so you can build this stuff together. And uh, Snivy Lord is a very good builder. So let us indeed continue here. Vanguard is oh that's some nice shot coming in there. But will the balloon atrocity pass over? Can you be quicker? Because if you get outrun by uh, Fate Ori, if you get outrun by uh, Light of the World's build, you will get shredded by uh, revolting blast guns, as we like to call them. Nobody has any penalty points, but... Uh, <clears throat> Snivelord is sure keeping a distance, but it's not too far away, so that's good. <clears throat> All right. Fafel, my base away was just let's have a steampunk Kirov because why not? Well, that's a good, uh, good idea indeed. Well, Indefatigables on this end is look, looking a tiny bit sad. Um, the Indefatigables are down at 86% while the Fuming Boilers are still up at 97 But what are we doing here? Oh, that's a big damage! And why did you not broadside? No one knows. That would have been amazing damage. A few pot shots coming in there, missing totally. Looks like uh, the balloon atrocity feels like belly flopping again. As it always likes to do. No? It's trying to catch up. <laughs> it does try to catch up because it has some very strong blast guns shooting right down there. So if it can catch up, it's uh, oh. some powerful stuff. Oh! Why are you doing this? Bam! God, but you did some good damage though. You don't have melee capability, but damn! You still somehow are more sturdy. Wow. That's some damage. That was some damage. Holy Poor indefatigable's shit. fading light. This thing is almost dead. Like, it's almost split in half. All right. <clears throat> oh, 
All right. It's an AI tournament. Yes. Do, do, do people even have tournaments that are not AI? I wonder though. Ooh. Wow. That was a good comeback with some uh, blast guns. But it looks like... <laughs> looks like... Uh, looks like the Vanguard is gonna go in close again. Good for the fuming ballers, but now he gets company from behind. Well, well, what is this ongoing gangbang here? Yeah, I wonder really. Oh, Scrimation's fading light from the Indefatigables is damaged and gone. Betty Zad, it's now dead. Yes, very dead. Disqualified. And what are you two doing here? You're just headbutting each other. If the ballooned atrocity just would get a little bit higher up in the air, it could blast gun that thing to hell with its uh, blast gun things, but uh, it seems to feel more like doing this. But the ballooned atrocity is down at 67%, the vanguard is at a similar number, but the harbinger of brass is, sl you know, feeling good and chilling and just uh, shooting down from above, very nice. <laughs> Favel says very brutal group cuddling indeed. We have to agree very much. Shark93, welcome very much to the stream. I didn't see you before now. Very welcome. And I just I just love the smooth shape of this thing. It doesn't look like mimics either. Or does it have mimics? It has one mimic, right? It has, yeah. Oh. It's just so smooth. Light of the Worlds, ballooned atrocity, shilling around here. Uh, it's kind of grown into, okay, they kind of interlinked permanently. Right. But uh, the ballooned atrocity now gets very sad, it looks like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It is Mimic, says Nivellord. Yeah, I could guess. Yeah, that is it. Fuming Boilers. Very good job. And uh, the HMS Vanguard took a real beating and it looked like it was supposed to die several times. Oh, cool. Interior. Here we have this... Uh, <laughs> here we have this interesting armoring style too. It seems to be working pretty well. It took some real beating, almost died, but uh, it's still alive and kicking. Wow, that's a cool cram skin though. <laughs> Alright. Good game. Now let's report the scores. <clears throat> Indefatigables, good but not better than the fuming boilers. One point to you, zero to Indefatigables. Submit scores. Alright, Favel says, other builds like the throw. Let's see here. No. Fate Ori says, on a scale of 1 to 10, Jimadism, what do you rate the Vanguard's look? I don't know. Maybe it's... A... I think it's a solid 7. It looks pretty cool. Um, but it doesn't have the amazing factor of uh, the moving parts, like uh, Xaver Kraus Zylinder or the uh, gears from uh, Gear Grinders. That's cool. But it's a, it's a nice shape and it's very quick and I like the little wings that stick down into the water. Right. Ad Necrias missed the last hour. What happened? Do anyone really want to tell him what happened? Poor thing. Maybe we, maybe we shouldn't tell him what happened. Add Necrias, it's fine, just watch the tournament and don't, don't, don't think too much and absolutely do not look at the brackets. Thank you. <clears throat> Alright, next up. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> Xaver Crown. Eh? A very sad day has come. Today, we need to lose to the bar or destroy the bar. 
Destroy it. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck <laughs> it. It's uh, Psych and Lubscribed versus Iced Coffee. Loser's bracket. So... <clears throat> Which is the yeah, okay, just the above one. All right, psych and lube scribe Churchill airship. Let me show you when I'm setting this up, so you can double check. I'm not doing anything retarded like that. 150 meters, very nice. Add blueprint Xaber Kraus Winston together. It's Winston and Churchill. I mean, hey, hey, hey! Come on, let's be fair, right? We did pay you tribute. On the uh, on the pop and plunder, we drank a coffee there, or maybe a beer. Who knows? Who knows? So, but now we can say, God damn, the beer was so bad, we're gonna fuck up the bar. <laughs> the beer was okay, but it was fucking expensive because it was one of those Belgian dark beers that almost tastes like coffee. So we thought we drank coffee, but we drank beer, and then we got sad, and it was expensive. You know, so you gotta go. Iced coffee, yeah. Alec Yakio's Lady Italia. Let's see if Lady Italia decides to disqualify herself once again. And Coffee Zombies, McDoodlin's Pub and Plunder, which is the bar we just were talking about. I don't Attitude. know. Uh, I do have the feeling like <clears throat> the Lady Italia, we <clears throat> maybe <throat> choose the wrong week for, for her. I don't know, maybe, <clears throat> who knows? <clears throat> and I also have a tendency to disqualify myself by uh, elevation, so we'll see which airship disqualify itself first. The Lady Italia or the uh, Churchill, who knows? Let's spawn them into being. Here we have uh, gross traces of atrocities. <laughs> <laughs> and if you wonder, the balloons totally liked Xaber's PC when he was online. Anyways. I avoid beer from Belgium then. Not too much of a coffee drinker. It's just some of their beers. It's something called tapist beer or something, I'm not sure. Okay, what's happening here? Uh, the Churchill airship is charging straight in and has already gained six penalty points. Good job. Seven, okay. And I'm just filling the thing with a lot of... Yeah, that was a little bit too early. Didn't do too much damage. Pub and Plunder gets uh, plummeted a little bit by more. Okay. Boom. Caught that thing. And here we have Winston is going strong. Cylinder is still working. Sniping on here. Oh no, I already have 12 penalty points. This is not good. 30 seconds. Do not leave me alone! <laughs> Yeah, no, I can say it. <laughs> yeah, you can. I will try. And we have nice gloomy weather for this battle. Well, you have some good uh, cram artillery going on there, but now you got hit by... God damn it, those crams, did they, did they, did they even do... They did a little damage. Yeah. That yeah. went straight through. Crams are so wrong for this tournament, man. God it damn is. it. <laughs> I have 16 penalty points now. What the hell am I doing? This is bad. What is happening over here, though? We're shooting... We're just filling each other with these things. Oh no, my steering capabilities has been damaged, I think. Come on. Oh, no, don't... <clears throat> don't get too far away. Ah! All right, McDoodle's pop. What, what what the hell was that? Was it a scream or did you moan? I think both. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it, we have like two separate battles. What's happening with the uh, Lady Italia though? Oh no, no. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. No, I totally messed up there. Oh, look, I'm stalking the poor pub and plunder. Oh no, 24, 25. I'm getting disqualified. 25, 5% away. Come on, no. Hell no, dude. Come on. Don't disqualify yourself. Come on. I wonder if it's the speed or if it's the elevation. I think it's the elevation. 
Because it's set up to be elevated compared to the enemy, probably. Yeah, probably. So when it goes over the enemy, I get... Ah, oh, that's bad. Well... <clears throat> oh, I'm so... I have so much material left and I'm so close to, like... Just dying in the spell. Very sad. Oh, can I get... Can I get the proper cram shot here? I can! And it misses, come on. <laughs> Doesn't look good, man! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh uh -oh. no, my pitch con- Oh no, oh, oh no. no. It's oh, going- <laughs> no. no, the disqualifies are coming 100%. Oh no, this is bad. What are you doing? Ah. What the hell, dude? Oh, this no. is not- Oh no, it's shooting- It's- Oh. It's 95% and it's standing like this. What the hell? Man. Oh no, and now I'm increasing in speed when I'm falling. It might... Oh, don't get over 50 meters per second, please. What are we doing here? Well, we need to check out the other battle going on here. Which is... God, that's far away. Yeah, holy shit. <sighs> what are we doing here? Okay. <clears throat> it's T posing. Oh, God damn it. Well, the Winston Palwheeler looks kind of healthy, but it's down at 81%. Yeah, and I'm not shooting back, it looks like. You are sometimes. Well, hopefully, you can shoot with these, uh, you know, deal some damage, but you're not hitting very well. You're not. Huh. 79, uh... God seems... damn, man. Damn cramps, why I was listening to you? <laughs> well, you had a lot of uh, these, you know, short cannons. Huh? It looks like simple weapons was better, because you can't counter the simple weapons either. No. Uh. Sorry. I'm just <laughs> trying to... I'm trying to get to the airship, but I'm just I'm just attaching to random points and shots and stuff like that. Now finally, thank you. <clears throat> no! My airship is disqualified. Yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, and it also you have some penalty points going on there. Eleven, twelve. Why? Damn, we missed when it disqualified though, that was a little bit sad. It looks very sad, I did some damage at least, but that doesn't help. Winston, you're at 15 points. Okay, we can ride one of these maybe, there we go. Poor thing, 17, 19. Why is it accumulating disqualification points? Lady Italia is also, it's like it can't decide which will get the disqualification points. You have 24. Lady Italia has 21. Screw 28, it. 29. You know oh, what? Man. At least I can say I lost in stealth. <clears throat> Lady Italia 23, Xarver 29. You're one point away from being disqualified. Oh, DQ'd. Wow. Yeah, but, but the disqualification, like the penal uh, pen uh, penalty points, does not make any sense right now, to be honest. Uh, it's a distance to the targets, but because you were kind of sandwiched between two crafts, it yeah, but yeah. I I was look like my build was sandwiched, so it would mean my build was the center of the entire battle. So why my build gets pen uh, penalty points, you know? It's really weird, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make sense, in my opinion, right now, but it's fine. It kind of was weird. Yeah. But uh, I suppose that... There was a very low likelihood uh, at winning that thing, even though if you wouldn't have been disqualified. Yeah, sure. Because still, if Lady... Like... 
But Lady Talia should have been disqualified, probably, before you. Yeah, well... Normally, yeah, but it is like it is, but... It is like it is. Penalty points doesn't make sense in that battle right now. <laughs> Not quite, but... Um... We're listening to the penalty points, which means that for the rest of the tournament, we will also uh, take the penalty points yeah. into account. Of course. Yep. So <laughs> would be it would be weird if we now stop. <laughs> of course. So there we have it. Uh, the psych and subscribed didn't. You still. Sh now I can say it without masking the words. You need to like and subscribe. But the uh, team Psych and Dubscribe is out of the tournament. Nice battles, but um, well, see you again in the Battle Royale. That will be laggy as hell. I think I need to turn my settings to like Stone Age. Iced Coffee, a very good job. We did lose uh, against the pub. <laughs> yeah. All right. That means that the next battle is also on the loser's bracket, and it will be the Indefatigables versus the Sultans of Steelmire. So... <clears throat> Indefatigables... Indefatigables, yes, there we go. Light of the World's Ballooned Atrocity. 150. End screamations, fading light, five. Good. Team two is the Sultans of Steelmire, and it was a good while ago we actually saw the Sultans of Steelmire. With Cortez X, Zebra Clam Airship, and uh, LGC's Blunder Burst, five. There we go. <clears throat> I think that's cool. Right, so Adnikra says the distance DQ triggers if you aren't uh, in range and aren't closing in. The Italia and the Winston were too far away from each other. The PAL ship was closing in. I see. Makes sense. Well, since it was a while we saw these beautiful builds from Sultans of Steelmire. It has a sound block on it. That's cool. I don't know why, what, what it said. But the Zebra Clam is here and it's uh, it's looking splendid like uh, the rest of... Uh, <laughs> like the rest of uh, Cortez X builds. And here we have this beautiful little uh, tugged boat. By LCG. <clears throat> Looks like a proper artillery piece going on there. I think LGC for uh, Team Sultans of Steelmire also kind of opted for the uh, um, cram cram thing. I bet this cram cannon shoots through anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, it didn't. It didn't go through, but it probably did some damage. Yeah. Right. So, what do we have? Blunderbust. <clears throat> Everyone is quite damaged, and ooh, poor Sultans of Steelmire. That's a heavy. That's a heavy hit. Ah, oh, we're down. Ooh. Scovimation's Fading Light is uh, dealing some serious damage to Cortez X Zebra Clams. Uh, can we play the smallest violin on Earth? <laughs> Maybe like I in should. A, in, a, in a sarcastic way, of course. Like... <laughs> Maybe I should have that uh, like stream button so we can play it. I don't have it. <clears throat> I only have one sound effect. And that is... That's it. Dramatic. Anyways. <laughs> and that was to... Uh, tell Cortez X how poor his ship is standing here. At least it's now in its natural element, water. And it can use one broadside. 
So it's basically a sad fortress right now. <laughs> but it's damn lined up good here. Yeah. It sounds like... It's a war horn, you doofus. I thought it was some tentacled being or something, like a squid or something. Screaming, I don't know. That was my initial thought. Cortez is down at 58%. Uh, that's a cool detail though, I didn't notice that before. Wow, I like that. <laughs> oh well. Whoa, looks like that was some good damage. I don't see which book are missing. Huh. <clears throat> Well, it's definitely looking better for the indefatigables right now. Oh yeah, absolutely, 20% def difference. Mm -hmm. Both of the crafts are kind of uh, in their 90s, but the Sultans of Steelmire, of, uh, one on the 90s and one on the 54. Oh, Cortez X Zebra Clan, where are you? There we are. Shout your warhorn all you want, but uh, I think you will have to peep the rest of the warhorn in uh, the afterlife. Poor thing. All right. So now we only have uh, the Sultans of Steelmire's blunder burst. Uh, that is totally devastating the light of the world side there with that. That's a good broadside. There was a nasty hit, yeah. This is a really nasty hit. Wow. Well, I have uh, my doubts about uh, him being able to battle both these ships, but at least they are on both the sides here. So, oh yeah. It looks like this cram cannon is like useless. I did. I saw when it hit, but I didn't see any damage it did. Yeah, see, that's why I regret listening to you. Like, ah, <laughs> oh, you. We should use cramps. Yeah, cramps are cool, but they are not cool if we don't have explosives. Oh, this also <laughs> has the warhorn. Wow, the Sultans of Steelmires is like two whales. Two horny whales communicating with each other. I, I don't I don't think all right. it sounds very all cool. Right. Yeah, I don't think right. it will help them. Oh no. Hey hey Jimo, absolutely no problem. I do call I I, I call I call like I, I call the dog for you. The what? I do call the dog for you. Maybe, maybe you you probably need some help though. <laughs> the if dog? You, if, you're, if, you're, you're hearing, <laughs> if you are hearing a uh, whale, nah, I don't know, man. Jeez. <laughs> That's what it, sound, what it was sounded to me. Oh. Anyways. That is me taking me a while. Yeah, it is. We're up to five minutes, but we have so much slow motion. And Necris, you made me think of that song, The Sound of Love or whatever. Ah, Language of Love. <clears throat> I don't remember that song. It looks like the towing part of this boat is completely gone. So it's just yeah, very uh, sad. Blunderbust, you are now officially executed. Not only that... Yeah, the pedals are gone. Like, it doesn't have any movement left. It has 54% now after that uh, amazing uh, top and, shot. And it's gone. <laughs> it is gone. Sultans of Steelmire, see you in the Battle Royale. Good game, very nice ships, cool worn horns, war horns, but uh, last minute submission. Indefatigables, Light of the World, Ballooned Atrocity, and Scovimations Fading Light. That had to be fixed because it had too much metal, but now it doesn't. Uh, 
one. Congratulations. To be honest, when we <coughs> when we were uh, yeah when we were reviewing the ships, checking for uh, penalties and some shit, yep. I already knew that this team is probably gonna win because there is so much firepower on it, and yeah, simple cannons are absolutely the way for that kind of that kind of tournament. Mm. Rams is actually no way for this. It's like it's just going through. It doesn't make any really dam. It doesn't make damage really. That's the problem. I see. Good game indeed. Right. So now we have uh, completed more than half of the tournament, and with the battle royale, it's probably uh, more or less the half. So we are continuing with the losers bracket. Um, next up, we will have the Indefatigables again versus Team Iced Coffee. So, let us indeed set it up, which you probably want to see me do. So, set on that background music again. <clears throat> I should write a me uh, uh, like uh, a memo on myself. Like, do not listening to Gmode anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Just build what you want. <laughs> <clears throat> do you know what you also should do? You should write a what? memo that says read the rules. <laughs> yeah. If you have those two memos. I mean, to be honest, like my build doesn't really had the problem. It, it was it was going out of range for a short time, but I did keep. Uh, but I was going back. So I think there wasn't really a problem with uh, the combat range. No, it was mine that actually got disqualified because I set up my AI incorrectly even though I wrote the rules and I read them. <laughs> you saying, you know? <laughs> <clears throat> so, not dissing myself anymore. Let's see here. Uh, oh no, what did I do? Here we go. There's team one. So team two will be the iced coffee instead. Iced coffee, Alec Gihakio's Lady Italia, another popular auto disqualifier. But it looks cool. <laughs> and coffee zombies, McDoodlin's pub and plunder, a bar that we have lost to. Sad. Yeah. So, so they can <laughs> still sell their petty beer. <laughs> yeah, coffee tasting beer. God damn it! <laughs> it's like <laughs> this is the this is the excrements of uh, balloon no. atrocity. No, 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 no! The balloon atrocity watch too much Dragon Ball. It insta how is it called? Insta transmitted, like teleporter. <laughs> oh yeah, probably. It was so hyped. Yeah, anyways, let's see if these guys have a reason to panic so much. We will see right now. Let's begin the battle. Oh, this time they probably have to panic too. <laughs> I think so too. But let's see, maybe it turns out different. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. This is a strong combo, especially the balloon atrocity. But I'm still kind of thinking that uh, the steamed crams, you know, with the uh, Industrial Dawn ship with a big broadside from Game Boy, like, I think they'll probably win. We'll see. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. But I think so too. Yeah. Just because of the heavy firepower they have. Yeah, they have very high firepower. They can instantly turn the battle if they just... If just the balloon atrocity gets into range, he can do some damage. But damn, that's some bad hits beneath. Can they turn it around? That's that's some hardcore damage. Okay. Yeah. Here it comes. The pub better run. Yeah. No, it missed. Holy it missed. 
it missed the attack run. That's really, really bad. Yeah, because now the pub has a good, a good, I don't know, side, broad side, side, something. It has cannons all over. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, Ooh. like, like it is the the uh, the pop and plunder has a really good counter because mm. it can move sideways. <laughs> it's yeah. actually like a hover, you know, like hovering, but not really hovering, but does have the uh, ability to move like a hover. <laughs> Whoa, Scoobimation's fading light has 25 penalty points. It's far away. What are you doing? It's disqualified. It just ran away from the battle. God, that can turn the tide very much. Yeah. Wow. And since we are on the loser brackets, it means that the Aleki Hakyo and the coffee zombie from the iced coffee will probably go through to like the finals. The indefatigables have already lost once, so they are uh, uh, out. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um. I think we do need to blur some stuff. I don't know, maybe because this is probably over 18 FSK. This is over what? Over 18, like FSK. I don't know how it's called in English, but in Germany it's called FSK. Oh, is it like age rating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can we have a blue <laughs> screen, please? Like, <laughs> that? that's too much here. That's no, no, no. <laughs> Oh well, 55.2%. The pub is really plummeting this thing here. Poor balloon atrocity. Good game, but uh, it's out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, it's how modern <laughs> warfare was made. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Wow, okay. We didn't expect that outcome. Al uh, Aliki Haki's Lady Italia almost disqualified itself again. But uh, not quite. <laughs> so this team is a clear winner. PG-18. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you want to be sod. Yeah, you wanted to blue screen me. That's problematic. <clears throat> Morale in the crew was low. Oh, yes. Oh. It I was very exciting sure. battle, so we couldn't keep up 100% with the chat there. We need to set up there. Well, that's very interesting. Do you remember how, how the uh, Indefatigables lost the first time against the Fuming Boilers? No? It has so many battles, it's hard to remember. Anyways, uh, not not really hard to remember, but I guess I'm a goldfish today. <laughs> yeah, it's just battle after battle after battle. It's hard to. <clears throat> or just plus eighteen. Yeah, that works too. So, anyways, congratulations, iced coffee. Uh, the pub can go back to uh, its normal activities for a while until we have the next battle. Indefatigables, very good game, very strong crafts, but. Uh, well, your luck is over for this time. But see you, of course, in the uh, Battle Royale. <clears throat> I think that right now, um, I'll take, we'll take a little three minute break ish. And that's just enough time for uh, me to run the movie again so I can get something to drink and like rest my voice. A few seconds. Sounds like a good idea. So basically, yeah. when the movie is over, that presents and goes through all the crafts, 
uh, will be back. So if you missed the crafts presentation, here we have it again. See you very soon. Team Psych and Loop Scribe, consisting of Jim Rissms, Churchill Airship, and Xaver Prowse, Winston Paddlewheeler. Our next team is the Gear Grinders, consisting of Sample Texts Superior, and Ad Necrias Sobreda. Our next team is Iced Coffee, consisting of Alec Kihakio's Lady Italia, and Coffee Zombies, McDoolin's Pub and Plunderer. Our next team is the Sultans of Steelmire, consisting of Cortez X, Zebra Clap, and LCG's Plunderburst. Next up we have Team Steamed Crab. Consisting of Favfuls, Baron von Keroff, and Game Boy's Industrial Dawn. Next up, we have the team Fuming Boilers, consisting of Snivelord's Harbringer of Brass, and Fate Ori's HMS Vanguard. And lastly, but not leastly, we have the Team Indefatigables. Consisting of Scoobimation's Fading Light. And Light of the World's Balloon Atrocity. There we need to go. Okay, now we're back for real. I forgot to unmute. Yes, thanks, Fate Ori. Very thanks. <laughs> Xabra, are you here again too? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. <clears throat> it's probably only me that actually needed a short break because I can't shut up. <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, next one is Steamed Crams versus Fuming Boilers. And this is like the winning bracket, so... Let me show you, set this up. <clears throat> so, team one is Steam Crams, Favful Bon, Favful's Baron von Karov. One hundred and no, not fifteen thousand. Oh, every print, yes. Game Boy's Industrial Dawn. Five. Team two. We have the Fuming Boilers. HMS Vanguard. At five. And Snivel Lord's Harbringer of Brass at 150. Cool. That should be set up correctly. <clears throat> <laughs> or the Adnexia ship was taken out and... Uh, okay, so... Wow, how, why? No, my nemesis! Okay. <laughs> Alright. This will get interesting indeed. So, both the steamed crams and the fuming boilers have won every battle so far. So they have been doing a very good job at like winning and like being best and stuff like that. 
uh, <laughs> unlike some other people. Poor Winston, poor Churchill. Yeah. Indeed. All right, so uh, you just looked at the recap. You don't. I don't need to remind you. Let's just begin the battle. Both of these are super winners. So let's see what's happening. All right. Oh, I should be at the other side so that the text actually line up with the ships. <laughs> yeah. Steam cramps are very efficient and uh, fuming boilers are so as well. Ah, Fate Oris HMS Vanguard is just so fast and just going out to the side here and do a good broadside. So we have two nice broadsiders against each other here. Except that the Industrial Dawn seems to care more about the poor airship. Snivel Lord's Harbinger of Brass are shedding blocks like uh, something. Poor thing. Okay, Xaber Crown, what are your bets for this bell? I don't know. These are both very strong teams. Oh, that's a stream. Oh, <laughs> those, uh, I don't know, it was the 64 pounds or the 32 pounds, but that just shredded through the ship there. And another swarm is incoming there. The Game See? Boy. See? The goddamn simple cannons are so much better than any crap. Ooh, and see how many are here. Wow, that's uh, a lot of 32 ones. I should have done the same. Oh, Xabri, you're out of the tournament. Stop complaining. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. Look here. That's interesting. I didn't notice that before. I, th I saw it shot in very wide angles. But it's basically 64 pounders on two axis turrets. That's why they're so agile. But actually, Industrial Dawn from the steamed crams are actually the most damaged ship. Yeah. And it's very ironic that the team name is Steam Cram because the Industrial Dawn is heavily relying on uh, simple weapons. As is the... Uh, uh, the, the Baron von Kiro, wherever it is. Oh, it's poor thing. There, no, that's where is it? <laughs> there, there it is. <laughs> Holy shit! It looks sad. <laughs> it looks a little bit sad, yeah. But it's not so damaged actually. It just has poor lifting capabilities. It's just too penetrated. It doesn't lift anymore. But it's at ninety four percent. Snivel Lord's Harbinger of Brass. Can you even shoot back though? It's just sitting there and like being sad. Okay, now it's shot. Well. It it feels like it's basically a target. It is, uh, it's like saving. Yeah. <clears throat> it's saving the HMS Vanguard from any fire because the hms vanguard is like at 100 percent just uh bringing down game boy's industrial dawn to 63 percent wow that's a good group tactic i don't know it might be <laughs> it might be that uh it might be that the Steam Cram just had been a little bit unlucky on how they set up their AIs, or it might be an intentionally very good uh, setup and like division within the fuming boilers that are leading to this result. But the HMS Vanguard is just kicking it. Wow, that's that cram just went through. We have a swarm of simples. Industrial Dawn likes to focus the Harbinger more. Yeah, it really does, and it's definitely will be its demise. It's down. 
Game Boy's Industrial Dawn down at under 50%. It's going to despawn momentarily, very soon. Good battle, good job, went very far, fought very strongly, but it's not enough. Why doesn't it despawn? Okay, now it does. Rest in pieces. Let's move on. Now we have the HMS Vanguard and the Harbinger of Brass, which is basically just a target that's just standing there and shooting sometimes. But it's holding out very well. Sorry. Yeah, but it does, it does look like it does not have any capability left to fire back. Like, no. except these two sad... <laughs> <laughs> it's very sad, oh, but... Oh my gosh. This setup is just so resilient against damage. It just keeps floating. Here we have the steamed cramps. Oh man. Yeah, but it's also very exposed. Yeah, but I, you see this? It has like a, it has a super small steam engine on the cram, to have this effect. I think. <laughs> that's a funny idea. That's 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 definitely a steamed cram. All right, Baron van Karoff, eighty-one percentages. You haven't gotten out of there yet. And this under broadside is just getting uh, sad by the water. Yeah. It probably lost the capability of lift. Yeah, it definitely lost the capability of lift. There, there's, there's way too much damage on, on the balloon, like on yeah. like the section. The helium tanks are just devastated and now we have like incoming... <laughs> oh yeah. A simple swarm of incoming stuff down to 70%. But both of these crafts, no one has any like penalty points. They really stuck to the rules very well. Well, the battle has stopped being exciting. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's over very soon. Oh man, that's a cool broadside going on there. Down to 59%. So, today, ladies and gentlemen, we have gathered to see two crafts bully this Baron to death. Hope you enjoy. Sorry, Faffle. <laughs> it's a good ship. It's a good ship, but not quite there. Uh, compared to the fuming boilers, the HMS Vanguard still at 100%. God, those broadside. This is some <laughs> scary ass stuff. <laughs> and it looks almost futuristic. That's like the cool... Uh, the cool shape of this ship is, uh, is, is, is really nice. If it just had some moving uh, parts as well. Xarbor, if you... Xarbor, can't you pimp this? You should pimp this with some mimics. And we, it would be a 10 of attention. No. No, I don't want to... Mew, 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 mew. <clears throat> Oops, sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to show that, it's just automatic here. Okay. <sighs> Intense battle. Let's fill in the scores. Fuming boilers, that's amazing. Steamed crams. Good job, but not quite there. But uh, you'll be in the loser brackets, you're not out from the tournament. And it will be... Uh, is this a rematch or no? I don't really know, but uh, the next battle is actually Steam Crams against Iced Coffee. We'll see which one is the best. Um, yeah. Team 1, okay. Steam Crams are already set up, so we're gonna have some Iced Coffee here. Lady Italia comes back again. Will it despawn? Or will it just win? And McDoodlin's uh, Pub and Plunderer. The bar that is not watching games. The bar that is participating in games. Very un... Whoa, 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 whoa. Not, whoa what am I doing? Sorry. Five. Okay. 150. Five. 150. Five. 
Cool. <clears throat> Anyways, GG, do you mean to do, 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 do fast battleship or the submerging? That was interesting and a bit glad that we lost, says Game Boy. Why is that? <laughs> you had good crafts. Valiant fighters. All right. So this is uh, the last of the proper losers bracket. Let them just spawn in there. And since we looked at that last, we are going to we're going to follow Lady Italia a little bit uh, because it tends to die. So we should uh, we should catch it in its uh, glorious battle moments. I'm thinking. It looks nice though. Incoming swarm. It has like five crams in the front here. Anyways. Who the lady is Talia is in is in, indeed the one that's most sad in terms of damage. Where is it? Oh man. It's a proper broadside going on there. And Baron von Kerov is really high up in the air there. Alec Yakio, why it doubles the chat? Uh, Alec Yakio, the chat doubles because some of you are watching from YouTube and some of you are watching from Twitch. And I had a bot that's kind of uh, posting the chats at both places. So I hope it shouldn't double like for you, but it doubles it on the, I don't know, maybe it's a bug. <laughs> it should work flawlessly. Oh, look. Let's stay with Lady Italia for a little while. It's down at 86 percentages and sinking, which might be a problem because it might get disqualified. <clears throat> Okay, Xabr, what are your best for this battle? I'm not betting anything. <laughs> What's your guesses? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it looks... Like, from, from past battles, it does look bad for uh, Iced Coffee. Because Lady Italia is, like, almost already in every battle... Yeah. Uh, disqualified. The Lady Italia looks very nice, but it's not a strong fighter. And uh, the Baron von Kerov is very good when it's in the air. <laughs> but sooner or later, it does this, and then it's yeah. uh, <laughs> oh, then it's then it's then it's sad. The Pub and Plunderer is a, is a good fighter, but for some reason, it's trying to show its ass to the enemy, which might not be the smartest thing to do. Kinda hard to say, yeah. Mm. And pam pam pam. Yeah, it's uh, the uh, Game Boy's Industrial Dawn from the Steam Cram is really focusing to damage this uh, Lady Italia. So the Lady Italia, it looks very nice, but it's uh, I don't know. It doesn't look like it can do much from there. Oh, there we have some blast guns going on there. Baron von Kerov is down to 88, not very much down, but uh, uh, considering the history of the Baron von Kerov, it's likely that it won't ever get up of the water now. It's very likely it will just sit here. I think it has some a little bit problem with the pitch stabilization. All right. Okay. <laughs> the steam crams is like ignoring the pub and plunderer, which is at ninety nine point nine percent. For the, the aiming, like, it, this is so weird. It's like the AI setup. <laughs> 
All right. But I don't funk it off. What's happening? It's trying oh. to be a submarine now. Ah, uh, stop, Baron. I don't think you should do this. It's not a good idea. Poor thing. I like these propeller pods, though. They look very nice. I don't know. I don't remember your like total materials for the Baron, but I think it really would have benefited with some sloped wood uh, outside of that balloon area to kind of keep it a little bit more safe against these type of things. And the pub and plunderer is still at 99.9%. All right. So actually, the iced coffee is leading this battle. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do, but the Lady Italia is like <laughs> dead very soon, I think. What? That crime didn't get very far. Oh well. It's like it's shooting, but I don't see a bullet going anywhere. Huh. It is just standing here, 63%. Trying to go closer, but... It has a lot of materials, though. If they just would leave it alone a little bit, it would probably <laughs> be able to uh, get back to the battle. And here we have Baron von Kerov is uh, pretending to be a boat again, but better than pretending to be a submarine at least. Could scream at the weapons of the officer of the Industrial Dawn right now, says Game Boy. <laughs> <clears throat> I yes. mean, the, the problem is the, the Baron of uh, Van Kirov has... Uh, it looks like it has difficulties to turn, so it's just going forward. Mm. Which means it probably goes out of battle range soonish? Yeah, it will probably get some penalty points if it will get out of range and continues to run away. The Coffee Zombies McDoodlin's Pub and Plunderer is a unexpectedly strong fighter. <laughs> <laughs> like when I first saw this, I, I th uh, saw this, I thought this kind of flat design would probably be a quite bad idea. But it just has weapons all over the place. It's kind of fail safe in a way. Oops. Oh, and there we have uh, the rising penalty points. Ah, uh, oh yes. Fafels Baron von Kirov. Yeah, you were absolutely right about that. Yep. It's stuck in the water, running away. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's going up. Oh no. It's going up. Will it be able to turn around? It just has a few degrees to start turning towards the enemy. If it just would turn. Nah. No, 27, 8. And disqualified. Poof. Gone and dead. Will its last volley do any damage? Nope. <laughs> nope, that's a miss. Well, thank you for your uh, last effort. It didn't matter. <laughs> Poor thing. Uh, at least Lady Italia are not bombarded anymore and has like 26,000 26, materials to build itself upon. So. It is slowly regenerating, considering that the Game Boy's Industrial Dawn... Um, no, the Game Boy's Industrial Dawn is still targeting it. Oh no, it has so few weapons left, and they are not targeting the real enemy here. 
<laughs> yeah, this is so weird. Why? Oh, uh, oh no. Yeah. I mean, I mean, every normal human already have said on the bridge, "You mm. mother truckers, aim at, the, <laughs> aim at the, the goddamn ship." Nine. We have our protocol, and our protocol says we should aim at the smaller ship. No more questions. Continue yeah. firing. <laughs> but it's already dead. I don't care. Continue firing. It's already dead. Continue. Mm. How do you say continue in German? Huh? How do you say continue in German? Uh, continue? Uh... 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 <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, uh, <laughs> Wer macht denn? Is that right? Oh, no, Weiter no, 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 I have, no, I have it. My, my brain was, I don't know, was stuck. Uh, continue <laughs> is, uh, continue in German is. Oh, wir machen, ja, wir uh, machen, weiter, uh, alles okay. Uh, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, exactly. That that's how they say. Nein, wir machen. Exactly like that, because that's how normal German people speak every day. I never been to Germany, but I'm very sure it's this is the case. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Game Boy's industrial dawn is down at 55.5 percentages. It's not repairing very well and it's still focusing on the wrong enemy. And it's kind of out of range uh, from the Lady Italia, so it doesn't hit very often, which means that it won't be able to shoot it until it's dying itself. No, it's down. Good joy. Good job. Steamed. Crams with the Fab Falls Baron von Kerov and Game Boy's Industrial Dawn. But Aleki Hakio's Lady Italia, who is somehow still alive and didn't despawn itself this time, and Coffee Zombies Magdalene's Pub and Plunderer, an unexpectedly strong fighter, is uh, taking this home. Congratulations. Now let's proceed. Well, that was a quite an exciting battle. <clears throat> Steamed cramps, zero points. Iced coffee, 2000 points. But only one. Which means that we will be matching iced coffee against the fuming boilers. Have they matched each other before? Let's see here. Iced coffee. Oh, it's a rematch from the third battle. Iced coffee versus fuming boilers. So we'll see if uh, the win was actually just luck or if uh, fuming boilers is really the strongest team here. HMS Vanguard. You're still there, Xavier. Yeah, mm. yeah. You're just silent. Because I spoke too much German. Oh, it's good. Das ist gut, mein Freund. Ja. Alles gut. No, that's here. No, damn it. Now I'm messing things up again. Okay. Vanguard 5. Harbinger of Brass, 150. Lady Italia, 150. McDoodlin's Pub and Plunderer, 5. Good. I forgot to show you that, but I'm pretty sure I set it up correctly now. So you just have to... <clears throat> what is happening? The battle has begun. All right. God, the new propellers look so much better than the damn Deadly Blades we had before. Uh, 
Oh wow. McDoodlin's pub and plunderer is uh, shooting it down. <clears throat> <clears throat> it, it looks like the chat has gone German. Oh yeah, see? We are everywhere. Hey, yeah, Gail, where Uber men den canal? Yeah. Ibgess S. Guten Tag und herzlich willkommen auf dem Kanal von Xauber Modism, eurem Let's Play und Vlog Channel. Kanal soll Deutsch sein. I don't understand anything about that, except it was something about <laughs> welcome to my channel and uh, uh, you combined our names. <laughs> okay. Is the Lady Italia the first one to go as usual? It's the most damaged, as usual. Oh, poor thing. Yeah, maybe. Excuse me. There we go. We need to have the music for the for the finale. I think this is the finale. The, it, it, this is the finale. Depending on who is the winner. If uh, Fuming Boilers win this, I believe it is indeed the finale because they haven't lost a single battle. Ah. I like this pattern with the metal underneath the wood here. Oh, Lady Talia is not. Oh no! Now I accidentally latched onto something else. Okay. Ah, uh, goddamn it! <laughs> <clears throat> it's uh, it's a little bit difficult with this. Uh... No, no, come on! <laughs> what are you doing? God I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get over there. Okay, never mind. Whatever. <clears throat> we're looking at <laughs> we're looking at the boat battle. Because they're too far away. <laughs> you doofus! <laughs> yeah. Well, I c oh damn it! I could actually, you know, set up the camera speed to something super fast and just, you know, fix it. That could be cool too. But that could warrant some really jerky movements too. All right, Fate or is Vanguard versus? Uh, Snivelord's Harbinger of Bra No, Snivelord's. God damn it, now I mix everything up. Yeah. Uh, I... MacDoodle's <laughs> Pub and Plunder, this one, against HMS Vanguard here. And okay. the HMS Vanguard is uh, right now in the lead. Okay, okay. So, for, for future tournaments, uh, Shad, th this is also for you. Like, how about we do make two days out of, out of it? Because it does seem like, <clears throat> as a certain time, Jimudism is gonna screw up anything. <laughs> it's okay. So, um, the HMS Vanguard is doing a very good job at uh, broadsiding this uh, McDoodlin's Power and Plunder. Like, this method of having one side broadsider with a lot, god damn it, it's just too many, was a good idea. It was a really good idea. Anyways, now we're going to go closer to the Harbring of Brass by Schnevelord. Next time I show, I, I really have to stop this, this goddamn addiction of building good <laughs> and just building something practical <laughs> <God> damn it <clears throat> yeah i mean your mimics looks very nice but maybe next time you could try and make a ship that's functional and when when it's good oh, oh my ship is functional but uh, <clears throat> someone, uh, I don't know how, how, how his name was. I guess it was something with G, G, Mo. I don't, I can't remember. He told me to use cramps. <laughs> oh no, Lady Italia, <laughs> changing subjects. <laughs> Lady Italia is down. Good job. But uh, now they actually got you. 
Well, it's going to look kind of difficult for the Iced Coffee to do a revenge of this little battle here. Damn. Because now the Harbinger of Brass have other things to do. Yes, that escalated quickly. That es <laughs> It did. Oh wow, yeah. Lady Italia deceased. It is indeed. Um, it got shot at. Too, it got too much damage. It was sitting there it was, uh, in its sixes for a while, but it just died, I believe. And now the Harbinger of Brass has other things to do. And the poor... Coffee Zombies McDoodlins Pub and Plunderer 40 uh, Iced Coffee Team is trying to face several enemies in the middle and it's very flat and very susceptible to uh, all sorts of damage. I I'm not gonna yeah. say anything but the Pub and Plunder, holy shit, it looks like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, th this is a proper Swiss cheese going on here, so... Nah, it's 56%. It's it's basically decided, I believe. Yeah. Amazing battle. But, what happened? Uh, Did it lost an entire side or what? I think they kind of bisected it a little bit. Yeah. Holy shit. That uh, that's a good broadside. Yeah, it's super uh, dead. Um... God damn! I, I don't know, man. I, I guess it was the Vanguard. The Vanguard was like, okay, hey, that looks like Swiss cheese. Let's let let me give me a knife. I'm gonna cut a bit for myself. Yeah, definitely, <laughs> the Vanguard has some real power, and the Harbinger of Brass has a really super good capability of being in the air no matter what. Give me a cut of cheese here. Give me a cut of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of cheesy, so I want your cheese as well. I like cheese. Fuming Boilers is the winner. Which means that uh, it is the winner. Amazing. Congratulations. Um, <clears throat> there we have it. The Fuming Boilers. Here we have it. The Vanguard with the one side broadsider with a lot of 32... Uh, 32 cannons 32 pounders I mean and some cool mimics and stuff like that and stuff like that just did immense damage with its broadside and then we of course have the beautiful harbinger of brass looking really cool standing up here and just taking insane amounts of damage and still being in the air and this good combination and the AI configuration and setup and whatnot led to uh, the ultimate win of this team Congratulations. So, basically, <clears throat> this means that... Uh, come on. This means that uh, we can click on end the tournament, but as you know, the tournament isn't really ended. Um, the Fuming Boilers is the winner. Applaud for that. Um, and on second place, we don't know who was on the second place because tradition decides that the uh, winner of the battle royale is actually the second place, which means that the iced coffee with you know the pub and plunder and the lady Italia has a reserved third place. Of course, they can still win the uh, you know battle royale. So, if the Fuming Boilers win the Battle Royale, uh, it means that uh, the Steam Crams get the third place, but um, this is not very, you know, likely. It's always someone else that, like, wins the second place, because the second place would have been Iced Coffee, but that's the reserved third place, you know, kind of-ish. It's weird. We just want to have a reason to have a Battle Royale, but congratulations. Fuming Boilers. And the Fuming Boilers consisted of Fate Oris, HMS Vanguard, and Snivel Lord's Harbinger of Brass. And they built both of these crafts uh, together in a nice little corporation, which is how you're supposed to do it. So that's great. <clears throat> Very nice. I wonder if I can kind of like. Oh, can I have it? 
as a small window here, as some kind of like memory, Teams memorial, and loop scrap. media source. I put the volume at like zero. Yeah. Okay. Can we, no. can, can we actually <clears throat> take in mind that during the regular tournament, everyone's excitement is absolute fake? <laughs> And the real excitement starts on the Battle Royale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because everyone always want to know how uh, it kind of ends up and like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. All right. Now um, we need to... Okay. okay. How many teams do we have now? I'm just going to drag. Wasn't it seven? I think it was seven teams. Okay, fuming boilers. I'm just gonna check that these are correctly set up. Yes, because you never know. Oh my god, this yes. is going to be a laggy mess. Yeah. Uh, thanks for reminding me. I'm going to go to my settings and select boost my performance <laughs> and select half texture resolution. Yeah, I'm having like the minimum settings for this. All right, so fuming boilers set up correctly. Iced coffee set up correctly. <laughs> okay, Shad, there you heard it. Fawful is entertained by just putting on some makeup, which makes you beautiful, and put some melons under your shirt, which are some cannons. There you go. What? Where did he say? <laughs> I, I kind of cut it up. Is, is it possible? Uh, I need to entertain me. It's beautiful ship and some cannons. Yeah. I think he agrees. I don't know if that's the case but i don't really get that i uh, maybe i missed <laughs> oh god damn it you doofus <laughs> okay so oh and by the way before i, I forget it uh <clears throat> yes um, wo sind meine deutschen gits here los lasst uns den channel übernehmen Walk! <laughs> <laughs> yeah das ist gut <laughs> it's a, a it's kind of funny because you have absolutely no idea what I started now. <laughs> no, not really. Okay, add Nekria Sobreda. Okay, GG sample text superior. 150. 5, 150. Okay, team 4. Oh man, this is going to be such a mess, man. Light of the world, balloon, atrocity, 150. Screw emissions, fading, light, 5. Right. Team 5. Uh, Jimorism's Psych and Lubscribe, Churchill Airship, 150. Xabra Krause, Winston, 5. Uh man. <laughs> we can still win the second place. Steam Cram's Fowful Baron von Karoff, 150. Steam Cram's you... Game Boy Industrial Dawn, 5. Yes. Y you know what's going to be funny? No. <laughs> You're gonna start a battle royale. The in game time <laughs> is one minute, but the reality time that really passed is half an hour. <laughs> Because um, this is this is going to be a dire show, man. <laughs> yeah. Fafel says, can can we invite Xabrokraut to the Steam Cramps and just rename it to Die Deutschen? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. If we ever have a three versus three. <laughs> okay. See, I unleashed hell. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, okay. Cor oh man. 150, Cortez, Zebra Clam, uh, Sultan Steelmire, uh, Blunder Burst, 5. 
Let me just check here. Fuming borders, gear grinders, light of the world, scooby mation, fail light, iced coffee, a second subscribe. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I think I think I successfully set this up. Would it be possible that I successfully set this up without any errors? Yeah, we can see. Well, now you probably do not want to watch me anymore. Let's go here. I think I set up all the teams, so... Oh my god. So... Could be a massive lag fest indeed. <laughs> oh hell 3v3 yeah. tournament confirmed. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know how many... It would be like... Maximum three, four teams, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, okay. Nah, we do have a few ideas that we are discussing right now. Like yeah. not right now. It's more like the last few weeks we talked about a few ideas. Yeah, yesterday we were talking about a uh, tournament about space. Okay, let's spawn in these suckers. Oh no. Yeah, that, that's that's literally <laughs> the. the Oh my god, that looks horrible. <laughs> so it will be very confusing oh to like look at any individual craft right now. And the graphics is so bad anyway, so we don't really want to be too close because I set it to the lowest possible to hope to get more than 10 FPS. You know, what do you do? Let's start the battle. Um, let me be a little bit intense for you. Thank you. Okay. Let's start the battle. <laughs> right. We have a solid slow FPS. I think we're breaking the in-game's uh, <laughs> limit of uh, <laughs> small arms cannons. Yeah. The Churchill airship is like doing a suicide mission going into the center here, it feels like. Wow, yeah, the FPS is quite bad. It's not a solid <laughs> 10. <laughs> That's what I thought! I told you, we are one minute in... We have just one minute in game, but in, in real, there's already 20 or 30 minutes passed. Yeah, it's 13 seconds in game. Huh? Poor bullet limit, yeah. Now, the crams are probably a strong point, because the uh, simple weapons bullet limit is probably, like, capped. Like, this is the amount of bullets, this is the cap, so crams probably will be uh, the damage dealers here. Alright. Since we have this little lag fest here, oh god, the church airship already has 10 disqualification points, come on. Okay, who's the most damaged? I think it's Ad Necrius again. No, 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 no. No? It's uh, the Sepper uh, Clam the co uh, from Cortex. Oh. So many ships, where the hell is it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, what are you doing? It looks like the... Someone is running away again. Baron von Krov by Fafel may be running away. Okay. Add Necrius of Breda is down to 74%. What's happening though? Okay. And where are. Uh, Cortez X80. No, 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 no. Sam and Endlobo. Add Necrius of Breda is actually the most damaged right now. Yeah, yeah, right now, yeah. You're doing great. You're at uh, 92%. Your main turret is not touched. But where is Adnecrius? 59%. Because I want to have a look at the most damaged ship before it disappears. It's probably that thing there. Maybe? 
No. Or is it? Yeah, no, it is. Yeah, it, it is. It's just very unrecognizable because it uh, it has taken <laughs> humongous amounts of damage. Oh well, I don't know, Ad Nicreas. You have won tournaments earlier, but it's something with this shift that just set up in a little bit in a little bit way to be a little bit weak. Oh, at Necrius is the first to He's go the first out, to go. I guess. Yeah, I think that's that's why I wanted to find him. Ten points on Churchill. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's probably the speed. Or I don't know. It worked fine in testing. Twelve points for Churchill against this. Thirteen points. What am I doing? Fourteen points. Oh no, come on. Fifteen. Stop. At Necrius, Sobreda, Rip. Rest in peace. Disqualified. The Churchill airship seems to be the next one to go. Actually, it has ninety. Hell no, Hell no bro! You don't left. <laughs> you don't left me alone here on the battlefield. Come on, airship! Stop. Twenty-three, twenty-four. What are you doing? How are you being disqualified? Is the range too much? Are you targeting something that's too high? Twenty-six, twenty-seven. Oh no. Move your goddamn ass down. <laughs> oh no. No! Come on, at least shoot. Oh. Damn it. You goddamn. <sighs> Disappointment. Mm. Oh, meanwhile, the fading light is also gone. Oh, what? Fading light? Oh, what happened? School animations fading light. I didn't have time to see that. What happened to it? I don't know. School animations fading light. It was kind of close to a pretty heavy broadside battle before. Come on, Baron. What the hell are you doing? Stop dipping your nose into the water. It's never going to end well. Stop it. It doesn't <laughs> listen to me. Well. Cortez X Zebra Clam seems to be at 75%, which is likely to be the next one to go, right? So, how are we doing here, really? We're not doing really well. We are pretending that we are a stationary artillery station again, I think. And it's not doing that very well. Mm -hmm. Well, it will be very interesting to see what's going on here. Ironically enough, no one wants to target the Churchill, so... <laughs> you mean our... the Winston? <laughs> oh, damn it, the Winston. God damn it. God damn it, dude. It's too difficult. <clears throat> well... <laughs> Right, so it's so many numbers going on here. Uh, yeah, it's so hard to keep track. <laughs> it is. Can we just admire this uh, cylinder that is not moving? It's no, maybe it's, it's got cut off. It looks like. Or it's just the bad. Uh, it's the bad graphic settings. Maybe it disables some visual things. I don't know. Actually, God. The pub and plunderer looks awful in these graphic settings. We shouldn't have. We shouldn't look at things too close. It just looks crap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the pub and plunderer dropped under eighty percent. Oh, interesting. I must say that the vanguard is doing very well in this uh, battle royale as well. Okay, so who has the highest stats going on there? It seems to be Sample Text Superior. Yeah, Sample Text Superior has the highest uh, life values. Or what to call it? Life values? No, that's that's completely the wrong thing. Oh no. It looks like impact. Man. Yikes. <clears throat> it seems that it will be the end of the Zebra Clam from Cortez X. Well fought, but you're now at 55.4%, which means um, imminent despawn. Maybe. Oh, 
I saw a little mortar shell miss, okay. Someone is targeting with mortar shells still, okay. Oh, it just spawns. Cortes, Zebra Clam. Good battle, but uh, you're dead. <laughs> okay. Um, McDoodlin's Pub and Plunderer is down to 73%. So, it might be the next one to go, to be honest. Like, this stream of incoming uh, slideshow shots. It feels a little bit like, without the kind of trail behind them, this is probably how it would look in, like, real life. <laughs> Seeing an incoming broadside. I Just black evil balls. Oh, I also dropped on a 90%. Interesting. All right. What happened there? Well, there Just were still on also close to under 80%. Lady Italia is gaining disqualification points. Seven right now. No, it stopped. Okay. Oh, the pop and plunder is going into the 50s nearly. Yeah, 62.8. It's not looking too good. Max, our nobody cares about you. You might possibly. Lady, yeah, Lady Italia gaining the good old penal uh, penalty points again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, oh, it's over there. <laughs> Is it in the middle of the screen? Poor thing. It's ah, it's it's four minutes in game, and I'm I'm running at the at the lowest set, uh, settings, and. <laughs> Okay, I don't have the super pro best ever gaming computer, but I have a pretty decent rig. And I'm not even using the rig to stream. That's the other computer. So... Yeah, this is probably laggy on most systems. God damn it, look at the terror. <laughs> <laughs> More like lag terror. Okay. Aleki Hakios Lady Italia, 19 points of uh, disqualification, but it's not. It's kind of working as a floating artillery station with the cramps there. Yeah. And the, the cramps won't get the spawn in the same way. Okay. What's happening here then? Got a little bit silent. There we go. Ah. Oh. Game Boy's Industrial Dawn down to 82%. Coffee Zombies Pumpkin Pump. Pub and, plumber, pub, 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 pub and plunder down to 60.1%. So <clears throat> it doesn't get attacked. Oh, Lady Talia is gaining more penalty points. <clears throat> 23. It stopped. Expect imminent despawn. I think that Iced Coffee is uh, soon to be out of this team battle royale, to be honest. Because the penalty points will probably add up as soon as we look away and the coffee zombies and blah 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 blah. It's hard to say that quickly. Iced coffees, coffee zombie, McDoodlin's pub and plunderer. Xarbercrow, we have a German audience. Translate that to German. <laughs> How do you say iced coffees zombie coffee zombies McDoodlin's pub and plunderer in German? <laughs> Don't even try that. <laughs> but Fabful wants you to try that. And Game Boy. They no. both. Yes, they just told me. They no. want it very much. No. They're extremely interesting at hearing that. No. Ain't happening. <laughs> Who has a submarine again? Oh. I believe it's uh, Fabful's I mean, Baron Wonkerov. 
I mean, pop is pop, basically. You can't really translate it. You, you can call it pop also in German. Hmm. Yeah. Damn, the percentages are going down like nothing. <laughs> yeah. They're going down really quickly. Um, it looks, it's hard to keep track of all the values, but it feels like the... Um, but up, up, up. Superior is, yeah, ninety nine point two percent. It has zero materials. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Poor thing. Oh. <laughs> this thing, it doesn't have any materials, so it can't fire. And since it can't deal any damage, it can't get any more materials. This is just a big, stupid yeah. target thing that's just, you know, sitting here and waiting to be shot at. That's bad, yeah. Oh, that's really bad. Poor thing. Oh, oh no! <laughs> okay. Lady Italia is still not out, and Magdalene's Pub and Plunderer is doing what? Game Boy's Industrial Dawn down to 77. According to the in-game clock, we have only passed five minutes, six minutes now. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> the Winston is, is, is at a solid 78%, uh, but it seems that you have uh, been uh, receiving some attention from the submarine. I mean... Yeah, yeah I, did. I mean, I also dropped under 80% though. Yeah. Oh, the Industrial Dawn is 40%. What the oh. fuck happened? What happened to the Industrial Dawn? There it is. I think it got attacked. Oh, looks like the balloon atrocity get up in the air. I think it indeed made a flyover with the revolting yeah. blast guns, probably. Probably, yeah. Uh... Good game, but Game Boy's Industrial Dawn is... Ouch. It's very rouse. Okay. Lady Italia still alive. McTudlin's Pub and Plunder kinda alive. I don't know if you call this alive, but it's still firing. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> oh well. Right. Winston. 74%. Yeah, it keeps dropping. Keeps dropping because the would-be submarine Favos Baron von Kerov is bombarding you with its uh, broadside here. And your main turret is gone. Not too good. We have two cramps still doing damage. Huh. Well, Man, that... That battle royale is taking a long time. Yeah, it's like it takes a long time due to the lag, but. Mm. Alright. McDonald's pub and plunder is slowly recovering. It seems that it doesn't receive any damage anymore. Aleki Hakyu is in the midst of the battle, so no more disqualification points for range. And the cramps are still working pretty well. Shooting at... Uh, which one is this? This is Snivy Lords. Whatever was it called? Harbinger of Brass. And it feels like the, it's lagging so much that we don't really know if the damage is recorded. <laughs> Yeah, that mm. might be true as well. 
Oh, looks like the would-be submarine is getting some uh, atro at atrocious visits. No, it changed its minds. Well, good for you. <laughs> Winston is down at 68 percentages. Yup. That might be the next for Ghost, probably. Yeah. Wherever you are, you're over there. No more disqualification points, no? That ain't me. No. Here we are. Close combating. Oh, huh. yeah, dude, but you know what? That's. Uh... <laughs> Uh, how was it called? What, what, what is the build that that, that ramped me? Um, was it was it Anacreas with the steam ram? No. No. Oh. Uh, which team? I mean, it's 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 on my left. <laughs> I forgot the name though. Oh, you mean this thing? Yeah. This is the blunderbust. Ah, uh, dude, that thing. By LCG. Yeah. That thing killed killed himself because he ramped me now and he doesn't have the propulsion to move forward now. <laughs> it killed itself, like like kinda killed itself. <laughs> well, it still has uh, some decent firepower going on here, so it's it's an yeah, a, an eighty two percent. And you should be lucky; it doesn't target you right now. We hear the war horn. <laughs> Okay, the pub and plunderer is very slowly recovering. Wherever it is, it's over there. And but it's turning away. It's probably looking at penalty points if it's running too far. Okay. And that battle royale takes a long time, man. It's nine in-game minutes. I don't know how many minutes we spent watching this so far. And we're only deciding the second... Uh... <laughs> Whoops. The, like, second uh... placer. Oh. And it went straight through. Yeah, over penetrating crams for sure. Winston is down at 79 now. It's hardly recognizable, poor thing. Yeah. It's a one cram turret. Yeah, I told you, I'm probably the next to go. <laughs> I think so too, because uh, no one cares about the pub and plunderer right now, it seems. But uh, it seems that you get a lot of attention from your favorite submarine, Baron von Kerov. Yeah. By steam cramps. It's just continuing to broadsiding you. Seven. Oh no, 50s. 56.7. Ooh. 56.1, next swarming coming, 55.7, and a new swarming coming, 55 point, disqualified. Well, looks like we're not taking home the second place, Xabber. Damn it. You already fled away, you coward. Well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, we have... What the heck? Oh, have... the oh what looks the like hell? someone is getting a visit here. See, I told you it killed itself because it rammed me, lost its paddles. <laughs> <laughs> and now it got some uh, nice visit from the atrocity, the balloon the, atrocity. The, the, the this sadistic way of knowing of a small victory <laughs> yeah 
Scoobimation's fading light has been out for a while, but whenever did it get killed? God damn, it's just so hard to keep track of everything. Or bring your brass. Let's go here. Uh, well, our team is complete. Uh, yeah, I was about to say, you know what's going to be sad? We are the first team that's going yeah, to be totally distinct. We're the distinct. first team. <laughs> <laughs> the first team to be completely out. Damn it. And just because you got disqualified, you goddamn doofus. Yeah. <sighs> Bad AI. Oh, and here we have, somehow, the Lady Italia is still alive. But it's backing away, so I'm feeling it's getting disqualified in an imminent time. We'll see. Yeah. First team to go. Welp. Oh. I don't think that Lady Italia wants a friend like uh, Coffee Som. No, like uh, Snivel Lord right now. Oh, because come on! Those are airships, man. Let them have the time. They just want to mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Lady Italia is just a bit shy. <laughs> I, th I think it looks like Le Lady Italia, Italia is scared and hiding, to be honest. <laughs> oh, maybe it's a stalker. <laughs> 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 what a creep. <laughs> Snivelord, get away from her, you creep! Uh, it says. Right, so it looks like Lady Talia might be the next one to go, just because it has a little bit too oh, much attention. No, we no. have the second team that's completely obliterated. Oh, look! We the missed blunderbust the. Yep. Got her. died somewhere. Somehow. And the superior is dead in the water and can't move and the battle has moved away and is just sitting there and gaining penalty points. 20, 21. I think sample text superior is the next one to go. Yeah. Okay. Which leaves us with... Uh, Fuming boilers, iced coffee, indefatigables, steamed crams. I'm kind of surprised that uh, the pub and plunderer from the iced coffee is still alive. I don't know oh, why. The the industrial dawn is all is gone as well. God damn it! We missed that too. Or was it, was it, oh man, I don't know anymore, man. <laughs> I, I don't know either. It's It just happens too much at the same time. Game Boy, obliterated by the blast storm. Yeah, yeah. I suppose so. Okay. I guess the, here is where the battle takes place nowadays. Twelve minutes in game, but how many minutes in real life? <laughs> probably twenty-five. Yeah, probably. Oh, it looks like Lady oh Italia is. Oh my uh... God! Look at that! Every airship wants to mate with it. Holy <laughs> shit! That's no. <laughs> I think so too. <clears throat> Every other airship is coming for that us. I feel like this this site is very. That's what I feel like. Yeah, that's that's wrong placement there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yes. Oh no. Poor thing. Oh, oh yeah. Damn. Yikes. Mm. Yikes. Ooh. <laughs> 48% looks like team iced coffee is very done because somehow 
McDoodlin's pub and plunderer uh, died when we looked away. Bam! <laughs> Bam! And it's gone! That's some serious damage going on there. Uh, bro, I don't know about you, but that was a w w really weird way of mating. <laughs> <laughs> I think so too. Um, I, I, I can't say it looked entirely consensual. So... It's, it's, it's that what you call finishing in five seconds? I think maybe so, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely need a 18 plus rating for this. Yeah, absolutely. So, anyways, why is the Lady Talia always the center of everyone's focus? I don't know, but it was its demise. It was, it, it tried to look... Oh, oh, no, 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 I can answer that. Stop calling it a lady. <laughs> 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 we are gamers, come on! <clears throat> From my channel statistics, I know it's a 95% sausage fest. I know sausage. that. <laughs> yep. It is. It is. Yep. The, the statistics uh, lie, but probably not that much. Oh, what is going on there? Why isn't Superior getting any disqualification points i wonder yeah that's kind of weird actually it is technically the team with the highest points but uh, i would be surprised if it uh, took it home god damn it the faffles baron <laughs> from kerov from the steam crams just has a real problem with uh, getting out of the water it's like it's pitch control is uh, not enough to keep it stabilized. Baron von Kerov is at 100% though. So it's like it's lacking proper pitch control. It's like the drag is just keeping it down. Yeah. Oh well, that happens. Oh, did you realize we got a lot of penalty points on the ballooned atrocity? I just saw that. I'm not really sure when that took place, but apparently it did. Yeah, oh, that's okay. Okay, so we have uh, the, the gear grinders with a sad looking superior just sitting there and doing nothing with no materials. Uh, the fuming boilers, um, but only the harbinger of brass. And the tut -tut -tut, eyes of the world, light of the world, uh, with the indefa from the indefa indefatigables with a ballooned atrocity coming in right here. And of course, steam cramps of Baron from Kero, which is not getting out of the water. Okay, we do some melee damage going on here. And sample text superior actually got materials from being damaged like this because it damaged the other wing the other thing by getting hit yep. so now the cannons are actually back online plot twist not smart to run into that thing <laughs> the <clears throat> the most ineffective ram of the year the superior now has 3000 materials ah and the cannons are indeed online. Oh, will we get will will we get no. the blast guns? Ah, uh, not really. No, but we got a little bit of a tea bag. We got the tea bag, but uh, sample text can now. Uh, oh no! Yeah, what? What are you shooting at? Look, they just despawn. It's just so many. They can't reach so far. <laughs> <clears throat> Well done. <laughs> oh, more. So, sample text has 6,000 materials now. A lot to repair, but at least the cannons can be fired. 
the light of the world's balloon atrocity down at 70 percentages baron von kerov is technically the best survivor so far but the harbinger of brass from uh, snivy lord is seem to be pretty well 86 percentages just artillerying the ballooned atrocity which is down at 67 percentages and this looks like a not natural angle at all nope harboring really does the most elegant job uh, the elegant job now indeed it is Light of the world's balloon atrocity is... is it falling? No. But it's kind of low. It looks like it's the next thing to go. Not too accurate shots incoming, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh yes yeah this is kind of slow it doesn't help that the frame rate is like extra slow if we just rotate with this poor thing a little bit oh it only has one roll propeller you can see uh, so it's I, I like mean, I mean, shouldn't shouldn't we talk about like deciding by percentage? Because we are probably already half an hour into this battle. Probably so, but uh, let's see here. What are we doing? Mm. The light of the world's balloon atrocity is at fifty six percentages. It will probably go down soon. Fafel's Baron von Kerov. Like, technically, sample text's build does have the highest, like, the, the gear grinders have the highest score in terms of, you know. Yeah. But now Light of the World's Balloon Atrocity is down. Um, it's going to despawn imminently. So the battle will now be between... The steamed crams and the gear grinders. So I wonder, we, we can probably really decide. And there it goes. Good game, balloon atrocity, you're now out. Oh, wait, Fate Oris, Harbinger of Brass, is uh, doing very well still. It's technically not in the top, it's in the middle now. But I feel that that thing has the like best potential to actually win this thing. So it would be kind of weird to end this uh, uh, prematurely by uh, percentages since it's so close to end-ish. Let's see here. I don't think sample text will be able to recover. <laughs> Kirov, why? Yeah. Baron von Kirov somehow managed to get up from the air. And up from the water. I don't really know how, but... Uh, wow. Wow, it's doing some really good damage against the... Uh, superior that's down there now. Poor thing. Oh yeah, sample text's superior is getting uh, pretty devastated by our Baron von Kerov. Oh, Baron is taking some damage. Come on, take the <laughs> superior can't, gear grinders can't recover from this. Shoot another volley so we can... Uh, end this particular thing 58 50 
seven. All right. Fire on Ponkerov at 94 percentages against Doot -doot -doot. Snivel Lords, Hardbringer of Brass at 88 percent. Oh, it doesn't have one of the cramps anymore. And the Baron is still targeting the sample text superior, which is now brought down to under 55 percentages. Nice. <laughs> Kerov is like, I'm back. Invictus says it's called being left alone alone for so long, so long, that it was able to repair. Yeah. Indeed, it was. Well, gear grinders valiantly fought until the very end, but it's now out. So the battle is now between the steamed crams with the Baron von Kerov against the winners, <laughs> fuming uh, boilers and uh, snivel lords, harbinger of brass. Brass, not bass. <laughs> Harbinger of bass. So, Xaber, what are your guesses? I don't know, hard to tell. It very much so is. So, if the steamed crams win this, they will not suffice with their third place. They will instead get a second place. Wow. That's some damage going on there. <laughs> yeah, this this is crazy indeed. It's kind of interesting that the battle has been going on for so long and it was boring a little while, but now it's gotten very interesting again. Xauber, what are your comments? Uh, <coughs> nothing. I do think that uh, Brass does not look good at all. It's down at 76 percentages and it looks like it's not going to recover. Maybe indeed that steamed crams will be stealing the second place from the iced coffee and uh, put the iced coffee down to third place with this win. Because, uh, well, Fume Boilers has already won the like first place, but uh, it doesn't deal enough damage. Ah, oh, that's some good damage down there. A lot of uh, simple weapons. It feels also like the simple weapons are not too many anymore, so they actually reach the target without despawning. Hmm. Damn, this is so unreal. <laughs> Jesus. It looked like the Baron would uh, kind of run away and despawn itself again, but it didn't. <laughs> and it has such a great angle of see me up, like from above broadside with this thing. Oh yeah, mm. this battle is over, dude. This battle is very over. The Harbinger of Brass. This is, Poor this thing. This is so easy to say, unfortunately. This is really easy to say. That battle is over. Yeah, now it's definitely over. It, uh, it, it can't shoot back very much anymore. And the uh, Falfels Baron von Kerov is still fighting very well. It has 16,000. Oh, oh, wow! Shit. Bam! Oh, shit. That's an mm. execution, dude. It That's is. That's the real execution right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. It is. 
Oh yes. Oh, that's a nasty last move, man. That's Bam. a nasty, nasty, nasty last move. Amazing. Well, clap, clap, clap. Good job. That means that the final results are like this. Winners is the Fuming Boilers. Very good job. And the Fuming Boilers consisted of Fate Oris, HMS Vanguard, and Snivel Lord's Harbringer of Brass, which just died there. <laughs> and because it died, our second place is indeed the Steamed Crams. Because the Steamed Crams with Fafel's Baron von Kerov and Game Boy's Industrial Dawn was able to secure a second place by defeating uh, the winner of the tournament in the Battle Royale. Uh, Game Boy uh, did a lot of damage but died kinda in the midst of it because, you know, everyone dies easily here. Uh, and the Baron von Kerov somehow left alone for long enough to actually be able to come back and do some damage and wow, that was a cool comeback. And the third place then goes to the iced coffee with Aleki Hakio's Lady Italia, despite its, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, distance keeping and problems there. McDoodlin's Pub and Plunder was amazing at just being alive for a long time, which secured the iced coffee a nice third place. Very nice. There we have it. <laughs> Fafel says I'm scared of my own creation. Understandable. All right. So, how did everyone enjoy this little tournament? I hope it was nice. But still too long. <laughs> yeah. We should really consider making it a two day or maybe three days, depending on the participators, on of the number of the participators. Maybe so, but we didn't have too many participators now, to be honest. But how long have we streamed for, though? Uh, three hours and a few. Yeah. But still too much. I, I And I'm talking for myself now, because I, I already, like, normally I just had time for 19, maybe 19.30 p.m. <laughs> Yeah, you said before 20, before the internet like has problems. That's not about internet. I, I was going out. <laughs> like, oh, okay, yeah. I didn't know that, though. <laughs> I thought you wanted before, like, uh, before internet got bad from 8. You said. No, the, the time for that shifted, actually. Now it's 22 to 2 a.m. Like, it, it got longer, but the time shifted also. It's, it's really weird. Oh well, I didn't know that, but anyways, uh, Xavier Crow, you're free to leave. <laughs> Yay! But anyways, uh, do you want to have future tournaments? Like, we have been doing the future, like, the, the, we have been doing the tournaments live for a good while now. Uh, and uh, in the, like, recent time, we have, you know, or, or like the recent time, the first tournaments we would do as videos, but now we did it live. Do you think that this live format, like three hour stream tournament like that, do you think it's better? Or did you prefer the video tournament with like Age of Sail tournament where we have three videos like that? Please do tell me which is better because we could do both ways. We could also, we could also divide the stream into like oh, two times. I was I was about to say, why not mix the ideas together? Like, just make the tournament live stream, but separate it in two or three days, depending on the number of participators. Yeah. Like, let's say we make uh, the first rounds to second rounds in, in one video, then we're gonna turn into quarterfinals and end, end. You know what I mean? I get what you mean, but I really wonder, like, because a normal stream is, like, not just one hour. No, I'm not talking about one hour, like, maybe two hours, like, one and a mm. half or two hours. Because not everyone has, like, especially on the weekend, I, I can imagine that, especially on the weekend, uh, now that, now that, like, kind of everything is open again, let's say it this way, without triggering some mm. stuff like, 
Um, I can imagine that some people don't really have the time to uh, to to sit there for three or four hours, you know, because mm, mm, mm. I just seen we streamed for four hours. Yeah. Well, Fafel at least says it seems like a good proposal and uh, n nobody else said anything else. <laughs> so I'm assuming that means everyone agrees, right? Maybe. I just think that's the better way of uh, splitting it up in uh, maybe maximum two hours a day and uh, continuing the uh, tournament day-wise or on the weekend, let's say Friday, mm. sun uh, Sunday and Saturday. No, Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> I got mixed up. Yeah. Three days. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, maybe like that. And everyone watching this afterwards, uh, please post your comments too on the like YouTube video so we can kind of... What do you think? Do you want one big tournament to stream like we did now with like all, all the battles? Or do you prefer it to have like separated streams? So like two or three streams on different weekend days? Um, or do you want to go back to our video format? Because we can do that too. So please me tell me. Personal, I do have to say, streaming it, it's probably better. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I, <clears throat> I didn't mean to say like we do make it Fridays, uh, Saturday and Sunday. It's more like maybe we make it every Friday, you know, like mm. Friday, we make the first few rounds. Next Friday, we make the next rounds and then end. It, I, it, I don't mean to say like we make the entire tournament on, on one weekend. Mm -hmm. Like that, we also have time to fill, you know? Yeah, <laughs> we could do it like like that. I like the videos since they were a little shorter than that, says Coconus. I agree, See? splitting it uh, into two would be a good idea as long as they are less than a week apart. Um, yeah. See? Yeah, but uh, Kokonus has uh, prefers videos, to be honest, not streams. He doesn't say prefer, he said he liked the videos. Yeah. Preferring, uh, preferring and liking is a very, very different thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, let's, let's try for our next tournament to have uh, two stream halves. Maybe one on Friday and one on Sunday, or maybe like one on Saturday, or like one on Friday and one on next Friday, something like that. You doofus! You you you! Wait! Oh, you the telef my my telephone rescued you, but I will be sh I will be back shortly. <laughs> what now? I just repeated what you said. Anyways. <clears throat> Lucas says that, but live comments add a lot. Yes, uh, and live commentating. Yeah, people do like live commentating. That's for sure. Glad you do. It's it's a nice engagement to have uh, in the stream too. When we do the tournament, to have some like different opinions and stuff going on there. But other than that, we're kind of ready to end the stream. But we need to wait for Xarber to get back from his important phone call. Um, so we can actually properly end it because apparently Xabri is heading out now, poor thing. <clears throat> well, I really like Xabri's and Gminism's interaction when they make fun of each other. Well, that's good. <laughs> Don't tell him. Anyways, uh, let uh, let us uh, uh, let us celebrate the winning team, the fuming boilers very good job uh, winning through and through good crafts looking cool and uh, good performance um, i feel that the fuming bo my favorite thing about the fuming boilers for this battle was that they had a perfect combination of min maxing a little bit but not forgetting the aesthetics like they put a lot of time into bringing that good aesthetic look so i thought that was a really cool that a team like that that had um, put kind of much effort into looking good 
uh, actually was able to win this because of good setup. So it's really cool. Um, yeah. And of course, actually like a lot of the crafts submitted looked really good. And my airship wouldn't have... Uh, oh. Yeah. Listen, you doofus. Did you you really think I didn't see that when I was talking? You were making that with your hand, like blah blah blah, huh? <laughs> huh? Maybe it was just a delay in the stream, and I did that when somebody else talked. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I think so. You you're doing it again. Shut up. <laughs> you probably didn't even get the phone call, right? <laughs> I did. You just pretend. <laughs> no, my 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 uh, my my mate uh, called me like, dude, you you said you want to do something Friday. Why you haven't called already? Oh yeah. I was like, yeah, dude, sorry. This goddamn doofus Jimudison wanted to stream four hours plus. I told him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> something like that, probably very very interesting. Anyways, should we indeed end the stream? I think it's time. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks everyone for tuning in into the live stream and of course the offline version of this thing that I guess a lot of you will be actually seeing. Fafel is having questions about your maid, so you probably need to run away somewhere. My maid? What? Yeah. Your maid? Yeah, because what? you said something about your maid. Yeah, mate. Mate. Uh, M-H-T. I heard Not maid. Maybe you yeah, have a mate who's a maid. Maybe, uh, maybe pronounce problems that you know that I have. Maybe currently. a Freudian slip. Yep. Just saying, it may be a Freudian slip. Anyways, we're gonna jump out of this stream and uh, I'm going to end this stream with a little celebration to all the crafts by uh, giving you the presentation video clip again because I was very happy about my uh, roleplay feeling about that so uh, I'm going to play that and after that the stream will be uh, turned off so thanks a lot for joining this is your host Gmodes and Starbuckron and we're signing out so see you in future battles and if you want to participate in our battles get into our discord today bye bye we didn't hear you Xaver you need to say that again because you were cut out damn it god damn it team psych and loop scribe consisting of jimmerisms churchill airship and xaver prowls Winston Paddlewheeler. Our next team is the Gear Grinders, consisting of Sample Texts Superior and Ad Necrias Sobreda. Our next team is Iced Coffee, consisting of Alec Kihakio's Lady Italia and Coffee Zombies. McDoolin's Pub and Plunderer. Our next team is the Sultans of Steelmire, consisting of Cortez X Zebra Clap and Helsi G's Plunderburst. Next up we have Team Steamed Crabs, consisting of Favfuls, Baron von Keroff, and Game Boy's Industrial Dawn. Next up we have the Team Fuming Boilers, consisting of Snivelord's Harbringer of Brass, and Fate Ori's HMS Vanguard. And lastly but not leastly we have the Team Indefatigables, Consisting of Scoobimation's Fading Light and Light of the World's Balloon Atrocity.
Jimades, Total Nerd Channel.